looks like we made it back for another week of that Salt Marsh Legend show. I'm so excited to get going with this again. We are rolling into week seven, and we have finally made it into the depths of the depths. I'm sure this is as deep as we can go. There's no other depths to explore here. I'm just sure of it. Um, yeah, but we have made it to this basement finally, and I'm excited for that because we've already found a couple of little grizzly... Uh, things to fight some little rot grubs coming out of a body to come and eat us and only like, uh, yeah I'm, I'm good on that i immediately you know took up arms and fought this menace and didn't at all run away to the other side of the room or anything like that i'm sure of it if my memory serves <clears throat> we'll just uh, allow that to be the the truth there uh thank you everybody that's out there watching already appreciate you guys coming to to check us out here uh if you do have a second go check out uh, patreon and look up limithon over there he's uh doing some map assets for us he's got some really cool stuff coming up and uh, i think we're going to be doing like a little halloween thing uh working with him and his team over there so i'm super excited for that we'll see i don't want to say too much about that just yet because i liked it spill the beans early so anyway we'll we'll get back to that anyway uh definitely excited for tonight i don't really have too much else to say please come and check out our discord and all of our social media sites whenever you have time hit all those subscribe buttons and all that good stuff definitely helps keep us going and we appreciate you for that definitely let's go ahead and it is the basement's basement that's where we're going to finally get to at some point i'm sure of it um Let's go ahead and jump right back on over, and I'll turn it over to our illustrious GM here. Mr. Connor, take it away, sir. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Salt Marsh. Uh, oh, did someone drop out? Okay. We're going to keep going. So, <laughs> last week, episode six. Uh, our players had just completed their first long rest, or it was the second long rest, actually, since arriving at this house. And uh, they have been up pretty bad, but they were still resilient and were anxious for more, which was good, because as soon as they left their room of safety, they were ambushed by what looked uh, like maybe bandits of some kind. Uh, they were dealt with, however... In a fight to loot one of the bodies, their old friends, uh, the giant centipedes, appeared to have uh, been enjoying a meal, but Sid tried to negotiate uh, a little time to investigate. Turns out it didn't go very well, and he was dropped. The rest of the party eventually saved him, but another rest was in order. After I was also that, dropped. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, but after that... Uh, the party finally descended down to the basement, which they had discovered the day before, but had been uh, turned away by, uh, with a mysterious echoing voice of foreboding, warning them of their doom, and almost supernaturally terrifying them out of their wits. However, this time, only one of them uh, failed to see through the magic, and that was poor Maya. But despite that, they found themselves in what appeared to be a wine cellar. And there was a body of what appeared to be a former adventurer lying dead on the floor. And upon examining it, there was two swarms of maggots that swarmed and tried to attack the party. However, they were handedly dealt with as the maggots themselves were quite slow, which is appropriate with them being maggots. However, the hullabaloo of that combat appeared to have disturbed things deeper in this basement and a secret door opened right next to fable and a man uh with a big beard came out and seemed to greet the party menacingly and now it's time to roll initiative everyone but do we have a package <laughs> we have package oh, oh okay that moved Oh, man. All right. There's a lot of red dice. Why? There's a lot of red dice. <laughs> Why are there so many bad guys? <laughs> uh, do we they're need all, they're to... all red shirts. It's fine. <laughs> as long as they're not centipedes. Do we as need to clear off the grot groves? 
The what? Ah, uh, can you still see them? I thought yeah. I got rid Oh, uh. They're just on the tracker. Oh, they're on the tracker? Yes, sir. Uh, how do I do this? Are they still on the tracker now? Uh, no. Yes. All right. Perfect. Oh, because they got highlighted. That's why. Okay. So, uh, with this new combat, uh, and very lucky for you guys, Fable, you're the first to react as this door opens and you see a man, uh, rather large, carrying a light crossbow over his shoulder and wielding a scimitar, looking to do you some harm. What do you do? Uh, sorry, something's burning in my apartment. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Hold on one second. Would you I'm like sorry. to? Yeah, 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 go, could, go, you, go. could you please yeah, deal with that? Yeah. So let's describe the scene. <laughs> Actually, right here, right, I'm going to to disengage. <laughs> okay. And then I will. Uh... Please don't die. That's what I do. Okay, okay, perfect. He's going to disengage twice. Now just once in movement, and that's fine. What did I say about this? <sighs> Uh, I will pass it on. Amaros, our satyr monk, you see this uh, gentleman standing in the doorway. What do you do? Uh, does he look similar to the bandits we fought from before? Maybe similar to He does. Alright, very um, comparable. Soon he a bandit. Can we mute? Can we mute him from our end? <laughs> I, I, I muted him like, on my end. I was hoping that was for everybody. Was that no, not? okay? Okay. I, I think if Indigo muted him, then we should be fine, at least for the stream. Can you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The... Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, if it's if it's his audio going to the stream, okay. Yeah. It's muted on my stream on my end. So yeah, it'll be muted on the stream. <laughs> I don't get the glorious comedy that you guys get, sadly. So. No, you can't hear anything. It's just you just don't want to put his business out there accidentally. So, I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, as long as his apartment isn't burning down, I'm okay. All right. Um, uh, we can see. We have a visual. We'll see if there's too much smoke. All right, Amaros. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna move there, and I'm yep. gonna go ahead and uh, I'll be their front line. I'm gonna dodge to sort of hold the spear out. Ready to dodge and parry whenever I can. That's my turn. Okay, so you're taking the dodge action? Yep. That is good, because as you move into the door frame and in view, you see two more people hiding out back, and they're going to take two shots on you with disadvantage because you are dodging. So first, one goes at you with a light crossbow attack. Light crossbow, come on. What do you want me to do? These guys need to calm down. Alright, we're just gonna... I'll just roll live. Uh, that is only a natural two, so one crossbow bow flies off and completely misses you. The second one, one draws a longbow and tries to shoot you, also at disadvantage. That is a natural one. That's, and that's... that arrow also completely misses you. However, that brings us to the bandit in front of you. And, uh... I'm gonna make a scimitar attack against you. Also with this fan. Let's see if he can. Why am I not able to use their stuff? You got the pop-up I mean, bar can. coming up? I just did it for him. Oh, that's what it is. Uh no, I have the wrong thing selected. The selection tool I think is wrong. That? Yeah, once you get the token selected you should see their options. I do, and I, I'm clicking the attack, it's, but... It's a thing in chat, and... A scimitar, scimitar, scimitar. Oh, it is? Yeah. Well, you yeah. see it in it's chat? It's in chat, yeah. Oh, it's... yeah, I just didn't scroll down. <laughs> it, okay, nice. there we go. Okay. <laughs> there, there we go, so disadvantage, there it goes. We're doing it live. <laughs> we are uh, doing it live. 14 for Amorosa's AC. Nope, they're not gonna touch me. On, good for you, because that other one was a nat 20. So, uh, he seems to get a good footing, but at the last second you bring up your spear and just knock his scimitar away, wasting his action. That brings us to Monterey. You're up. Alright. Oh shit, that would be muted. I, un I, I <laughs> you were. <laughs> I muted you, though. I muted okay, you, good. though. So, yeah, you're good. 
We didn't want to spread your business all over the internet. So. Oh, God. I got your back, brother. Like, <laughs> see, remember earlier, earlier you were like, you know, if I have pants, if I, you don't know if I have pants on, and we were like, oh no, if you got, if you follow a bit, we just saw yeah. everything just then. If you'd have got up and ran off, everything. <laughs> I, These are digitally placed on pants. These are I, not actually I have shorts not. on. I have shorts on. <laughs> um, I am gonna shoot this bandit in the face with my crossbow. Go for it. Am I allowed to do that? Uh, yeah, you can. I'm gonna. I'll give him a little plus two to cover, or half cover, because he he's behind. Uh, or you could move here instead, and I'll negate it. Um, I am gonna. Okay, I'm gonna move closer. Oh. I'm trying to move Sid, my man. I can't do that. All right, so I'm gonna step to there, and I'm gonna shoot over uh, Omar's shoulder with the the crossbow, and then I'm gonna okay, pull out the whip. There. Okay. That's right. I already did the thing, but that's okay. <sighs> Ooh, that is gonna miss. So at the last second, Amaros, so focused on dodging everything, hears <sighs> something come over his shoulder and just knocks the arrow out of the air before it can hit its tar your target. You're knocking my aim aside, <laughs> sir. Just hold still and I'll just get him with my with my whip here. Ha ha! Hold still, hold extremely still. Uh, you gotta get him close to that whip. You gotta be right behind me for the whip. Um, oh yeah, I move up. Yeah, move up one square. Yeah, and then I Anything miss. To do? <sighs> that is gonna miss. So uh, the whip once more. Uh, Amaros hears you, <sighs> and as you bring up your whip, Amaros <laughs> just goes full <laughs> alert, so and you whip. <sighs> and luckily, you miss both of them. Sir, I'm trying to do combat here, sir. You are not helping me, and that's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. Sid, you're up. I think from this vantage point, I can see this guy back here. Uh, he will have three quarters cover, but yes. Okay, well then I'm not worried about it. It's a tiny doorway with a lot of okay. people in it. That makes sense. Uh, I'll just attack this guy then. Uh, that one's okay. okay. Uh, move in a straight line. Move in a straight line behind everyone else, because the door frame will give him a little bit of cover. But if you line up through the doorway, you'll get a shot. Okay, I'll just move five there. This is all where we all died to a lightning bolt. <laughs> I just didn't, didn't feel right, but it's okay. They have a wizard. Hopefully uh, these bandits don't have lightning bolts. You can move after you attack also. This is an option. Uh, 13? 13 will hit. Uh, normal damage. 6? You do get some attack, because I'm almost. All right. Nice work. Nope, just one. Do that every time. Oh, all of them. There we go. Uh, so three. So a total of nine. All right. Um, uh, you let out a bolt, and it, it hits this guy right in the chest, just missing the heart, and he looks like he is on death's door. Well uh, struck, sir. I don't sir. believe I can do anything. Here, here. I'm going to, uh, I'll then move out the way. So five and ten. And I'll just kind of wait here, I think. Uh, yeah. That's good. Uh, in turn. All right, that brings us to this one over here. Okay. Um, Twenty over there. Uh, they're gonna draw their longbow and make two attacks. First one's gonna be against. Still. Um. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh. Uh, with a ten. All right, and with that missed, uh, they're gonna re-aim and go for Monterey. Can nice. they really? I mean, oh, damn. he's shorter than I am, and I'm in the doorway. Can they really? I've been letting you guys hit this bandit with two people in front of him. And I'm just a little guy, the doorway. though. A stick and move. I like ducked around. I was like, Bye. okay. So th this this is my mm. this is my argument. We're we're uh -huh. team we're team guys. So when they go, they can uh -huh. shout. And they can tell me duck, you know, or something like that. Think about it. Him, not a team guy. Why? Why would he shout duck, and then I duck? <laughs> can we like start cover our buddy? Can we start like planning maneuvers? I mean, there's different, 
like the X-Men. Yeah, the, the idea, you still have to use your body to cover, and so, I mean, I'll let you take this 19 instead of him if you want, because you can't really dodge. If you dodge, the arrow's going to hit him. Yeah. Okay, I dodge. I mean, I'm, I'm dodging. I'm just trying to make sure I get some cover. Haha, <laughs> 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 we're a team! Right, so. Oh! Uh, we're not a team. Uh. And that's why you move back out of the line. Bitch. <laughs> Take it like a mouse. <clears throat> Take it like a man of the Royal Navy. Uh, so one arrow gets by and it hits uh, Monterey. Uh, this person is going to end up moving back a little bit. Ending, ending their turn. And that brings us to death. Who dead? Who dead? This person? Okay, what? Well, down to a cool little circle. What's going on? Uh. Look at this cool this fire. This person. I can't wait till we get in five, there. Five, ten, and. Get in there so I can attack them, Omaros. The man be right in front of me. This is all do. <laughs> I'll get. I'll, uh, they're gonna attack Monterey as well. Well, no, let's, let's attack him. Let's see, he's bigger. So here is a crossbow shot. Attack. Disadvantage. Here comes. Aha! That'd be a seven. That'd be a miss, sir. Alright. And then he's gonna duck back around this corridor over here and end his turn. Maya, you are up. Me turn. Okay. I'm gonna move. Unfortunately, you are still afraid. Oh. Yeah, I was So roll me a time. wisdom saving throw. I was Please gonna ask something that I completely forgot. <laughs> wisdom Somebody's saving. I shoved some catnip in Maya's mouth. Ooh. Haha! <laughs> you fucked! You are no <laughs> longer <worked>. afraid. <laughs> Usually I just get super high, but for you it's like... <laughs> that's powerful <laughs> stuff, sir. Can I try some in my pipe, sir? Is that... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take a quick... I think I can do a catnip as you're... Okay. I gave you some to you, but I also take a quick little nip catnip. Mario's going to spit out the catnip and move... Uh, the, the, the... I can only think of magnets. The, the bugs in front of me, are they actually there? Can I walk over there? They're they're dead. They're mush. Okay, so I can walk over them and not. Be yeah, there's no terrain. difficult terrain or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. you're fine. They kind of pop. Yes. One, like walking two. on wet styrofoam. Ugh. Well, they're slugs. Two. Okay, it's kind of like walking on slugs. Wet slugs. Okay, I'm gonna move. <sighs> dead slugs. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Thirty. And then I can see because my computer. Stupid. I don't think you can, because you don't have any distance spells other than lightning or and you're out of range. For that no, one. I have. Um, oh, you have that, you have like it? leveled spells. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm trying to think of how many spell slots I have left. Two. You should have two. Two. Okay. After the sorcery point. Yeah. Uh, I'll do. Magic missile, no, no, not magic missile. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna move in. Isn't I is I dash a distant? Oh yeah, I do have dash. It is. Well, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna do. No, if you isolate him, then Omaros. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do the one in front. Almost. I just I can't see past um, that dude for some reason on my screen. Uh, I will say. So I, I'm look, I can actually see your view, one of the amazing things of the Foundry. If you click on a person's token, you get their line of sight. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to see the bandit back here. So if you magic you missile, because you can see them, it doesn't matter how much cover they have, they will automatically get hit. Okay. That's one of the great things about magic missile. And you see okay. that this guy is on death's door. Okay. Um, well, then I'll do magic missile on um the the one that you were talking about the one um i'll do one that um like this um 
I'll do the, uh, magic missile all three on the dude in front of uh, Amaros. Okay. Roll me damage. Oh. You want me to just keep rolling or just do that one uh, three times? Uh, keep rolling. Yeah, roll three times. Just I would like to roll again. Nice. Alright, how you want to do that? That was plenty. <laughs> <laughs> um, the three blue lights. Um, just coming out of her palm, uh, like normal. Nice. All right, so three blue lights come out and they uh, just decimate this guy. Oh, well struck. And he by falls it. down. Anything else? Uh, bonus action. I'm just gonna right. end my turn there. All right, that brings us back to I believe Fable. Oh no, he's. Maggots are not the initiative. Table, you're up. Oh, he's muted. Yeah, delete these. We win! Amaros! <laughs> yeah, be more deeper inside. Oh, there's no reason. You more. probably would have seen an arrow come and hit Monterey. There needs to be two more inside. Hmm. I thought that arrow missed me. No, it hit you. I already did the damage. Oh. I do not see them. Uh, bandits, will you please come into this line of fire so I may hit you? <laughs> there is no immediate reply, you. but you may wait. <laughs> I'll go over here. Oh, I see one! Anything else? Yeah. No, yes, that was my movement. I see one now. Uh, oh. Yeah, so, if you attack, he will get three quarters cover from your ankle. Okay. Prepare for your end, scout. Unnamed scout. Ah. Uh, sorry, uh, Indigo, I didn't. Uh, Umros, I do not want to scare you, but I will do magic now. Um, I will do my hex, but instead of this time, instead of chains rattling out, a spectral, like, broken mast of a ship crashes down next to him, and, like, dirty, oily, thick ship line kind of comes down and starts wrapping around him and kind of embeds itself into his skin, and, like, tar is dripping from him. That is much closer than I thought it would be. Uh, kind of getting the hang of this. Now die! Uh, and I launch my hex at him. I mean, my uh, Eldritch Blast, my ball of seaweed and debris. Uh-huh. So I, I think there's something growing on you, sir. <laughs> Not me, but him. Ooh, even with his cover, that will definitely hit. Excellent. This shot. And you know uh, that I, is a I good can, I can launch 10 feet backwards. If if that hits him, will he kind of stumble over that bed? Sure. Yes. Yeah, so this time you guys see this ball of seaweed is like much more uh, solid. And it just like smacks into him, makes a wet smacking sound as he kind of knocks back. I guess like a wet oh, towel with Dexterity saving throw. Squish. Or see if he lands prone. Uh, yeah, that'll pass. He lands on his feet. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Was... No, that's it. I will actually move to get out of the way. I will use my... Do not look at my butt as I run. Use my feline agility. I immediately look at his butt. You can't say <laughs> something line, like that and, and expect people it. not to look. Your is not going to look. It's, I immediately I, fucking I look, and I'm like, oh, I... Sir. I doubled my movement. I doubled my okay, movement. Okay, so you used feline agility. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Amaros, it is I would not turn. have looked if you hadn't have said it, sir. I'm very self-conscious about it. It's a strange thing to yell, but whatever. The door is no longer blocked. The movement of the bandit would be no more 10 feet. Uh, mm, we'll say normal. Uh, five. Ten. You need to wrap their meal. You really did. You're very rude. You're the one that <laughs> likes to do that. 
Well, they should clean more. I mean, you know, so there's a bunch of maggots in the other room. Around. Yeah. All right. So just sort of jump forward on the top on the top of the bed or whatever and stab at this guy or girl. All know. right. You you're both standing on the bed, poised for battle. Pillow fight. <laughs> Look at this beautiful lighting in the foundry. It makes me nerd out all the time. <laughs> Maybe. That'll hit. Pillow fight with spears. Damage, uh, how do you want to do it? Nice. So it's like... Run forward, bounce on the bed, and as I bounce on the bed, he or she bounces upwards, and while they're in midair, just... <laughs> Drop kick. Oh, yeah. Yes, combo attack! <laughs> With the spear? <laughs> uh, I believe it was, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 20. Yeah, we're not doing those diagonals, thank you. <laughs> You're moving square by square. <laughs> That's just square um, by square. Let's see, so that was 25. Uh, where am I? I can't actually see the other bandit. I don't have dark green. Uh, he is right here. Hmm. Or is he out of your view? He's got some weird darkness there. I wonder if it's this like... Is... Yeah, I mean, even when I was, like, dead. Like, when I was back... Yeah, Amaris, do you, Amaris, do you have dark vision? I don't know if I can see it. I mean, I don't think so. Then that means you Monterey. can't see in the dark. I thought... Uh, and your light Monterey. source is Monterey, who is holding the torch. Yeah, yeah we're the only two that vision. don't have dark vision. Isn't there a light in this room? There is. Yeah, right here, but it doesn't go all the way to where the bandit is. Oh, I thought there was dim light or something. There is. He is just outside of it. Uh, He's in the corner, hiding in the shadows, in the darkness. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just lay down. Like I've seen them go throwing arrows. I've seen them throwing arrows. I'm gonna go ahead and like. I'm trying to be in between the beds. I mean, I, I can't. Yeah, you can do that. Them, but yeah. I mean, you're lying on down. the body, but you can do it. Like, I'm not only let. I thought the body was in the bed, but yeah, sure. I, I mean, I got no problem. You do whatever you need to do to survive. So I, I, I go prone in between the beds to try and get cover since they keep shooting the longbows, and that's me prone. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it is dead. So Bandit dead. Monterey, it is your turn. God, the foundry's so awesome. Every time. All right, I am gonna move five. Oops. It's a five, ten, fifteen to here. Um. <laughs> as I come running in here, uh. Let's see. I wish. I don't think any of you have a torch. I might um, have one. I definitely didn't light it, though. I yeah, wanna... you haven't lit a light source yet. That's true. So, I also do not yeah, see only Monterey has a light anything going on over there. Um, as, I, as I come in, um, I'm going to run in holding my torch uh, in my left hand, and I got my uh, my crossbow in my right hand. I'm going to run in and kind of look mm -hmm. over at Omaros and say, Are there any more of them? Probably off to the right. Hold on. And, uh, yeah, my right. So. Okay. As, as he's answering, I just kind of start sniffing, and my, my attention is caught by this this dinner that these guys have been cooking over here. And uh, I'm going to uh, say, it. Uh, uh, you say where's that? And I drop my uh, crossbow, and I'm going to grab what whatever it is they're cooking. Is it like a chicken leg, or <laughs> what, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we say, we say it's roast mice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> roasted mice. <laughs> Damn uh, so you're looking like in the stew pot? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna investigate what they're cooking here on the stove. It, it looks like uh, it looks like pulled meat of some kind. You can't really tell what it once was. 
but there's a few bones in there as well. There's like some sort of stew. I'm gonna grab out one of the bones and try and fish out some of the meat off of it, and uh, just kind of okay. take a sniff at it, take a little nibble. Let me give him a little a retroactive cooking check. It's not bad. It's a solid ten. Totally edible. You're gonna Monterey. This is the time for this. I, I, I'm just uh, inspecting the, uh, the the cookware, get, sir. Get back uh, into the combat, boy. <laughs> what? Oh, yes, of course. I, I, yes, uh, uh, of course. Um, uh, which way, sir? Right. Like this way. And you see Monterey. Uh, you see Amaros's arm from the bed just like point uh, to the right side of the room. He uses the dead person's hand, so it's like <laughs> you can Bernie's pointing. Okay. Um. Ever you you can't see over there. There is no light source. It's true. So I went uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, I'm going to go 25 to here. And then I guess as okay. I come up on the corner, I can see this bandit here. And as the light kind of washes over him. Um, was that my bonus action or my action to to taste the vittles? I'll make it your bonus action to, to taste the stuff. Uh, okay. Does Monterey have... I mean, he has a torch, but he, it seems like he has such little light for a torch. Well, he doesn't have it lit. He's using two-handed weapons. He never actually lit a torch. Oh, well, then I... I do actually have it lit, but I changed the light settings on torches because the D&D &D light settings for torches are unrealistic. So. 20 feet? I mean... I mean, I... I'll yeah, for... I, okay. I'm gonna link a video in Discord to prove, to prove it. Because <laughs> if you link a video, your point is made. God damn it! <laughs> All right, you yeah. see the band at Monterey. Um. So I would say actually, you have your uh, action left. I would have probably had to have dropped my torch to do the whip attack before. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go you with that. Yes. In the future, I do have a torch, and I'm only gonna do, um, you know. I'm going to act accordingly. So, uh, I guess uh, I will pull out the freaking cutlass off of my back and see if I can yep. take a swing at this guy. Go for it. If you don't have dark vision, then it's a disadvantage, I believe. I can see, well, you can him. see him. We're, you. we're saying he actually had his torch out the whole time, and you just ignored the whip attack he did earlier. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so, a 14 will hit. Oh. Nice. These guys aren't super strong. Seven points. Ooh, that's a good hit. <laughs> he is looking... Yeah, you just uh, get him, and you don't quite get him right in the middle, but you get him right in his side, right above his hip bone, and he is just gushing blood. How about this, sir? Good. And that'll be the end of my turn. Alright. Sid, you're up. You hear shouting and people <laughs> bouncing on beds. Uh, <laughs> sure. That seems real on par with this group. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I believe I see him from here, correct? You can see him. Because yes. I do have dark vision. Um, and yes. I will, I will try to follow up with a, uh, with a short bow shot here. Normal. That will hit. Damage. Uh, and a sneak attack, right? Mm-hmm. Does Monterey. Oh, it doesn't actually do that. Okay. Cool. I got your back. Too. Uh, seven more damage. All right, how you want to do it? Just whiz it right over Monterey's ear. Just, you know, right into the chest. Nothing too fancy. Trying to be, uh, more efficient lately than, uh, you know, go for the, the crazy, crazy actions. So as this man is trying to That's stem the scary. bleeding from his side, an arrow just comes and hits him right in the chest, and he's knocked over backwards, and he does not get back up. And we are out of combat. I, I had that all under control, so. The green? Almost, what the hell yeah, are you doing? Yeah, we won. Mm. I'm taking cover like a reasonable combatant. Oh. You're firing arrows. You look I like you're taking a nap, video. sir. That's what it looks like. Right, me laying down between two beds, me uh, taking a nap. It is very I inappropriate to just. Now. <laughs> just stopping in the middle of battle to just take a rest is so inappropriate, sir. I'm, I'm very. Yes, it's very inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't say anything. You, 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 I'm, I'm busy. 
Uh, I have no idea what you mean, sir. I was just merely testing to make sure there wasn't any kind of explosive device or something that could affect the course of the battle uh, heading amongst uh, the area here. Right. Chasing food from bandits in the middle of combat. Just wanted to make totally sure there was, uh, you wouldn't be poisoned. I, I was looking out for you, sir. Ow. Was, I, I'm not going to go eating food I haven't prepared myself. I mean, what? the fact that the two of you are eating right now worries me. Uh, as what we're talking, as we're talking, I'm dipping a bowl into this, and I'm like actually kind of starting to eat. I have like a paw full of butter. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> what's what's already in right now? Wow, this is like a a batter of some sort. Butter. You have to get food with a butter. He needs to put on calories. <laughs> it's, it's, it's congealed milk. What do you expect? Fat, so, fat. as you Salty. guys look around, uh, this torchlit chamber was once a large cluster. cellar, but the cellar has been converted into living quarters with ten mm. crude beds standing along the south wall, each with a wooden locker at its foot. A long wooden trestle table ringed by rickety stools dominates the center of the room, and metal cutlery, cups, and dirty plates sit atop the table. A cook stove is installed near the table, and evidence of a recently cooked meal sits in the pot atop. A large ham hangs from a loop of twine near the stove, and a sturdy set of stairs. Where is that? To the ceiling above. Oh yeah, yes. that's the And a sturdy set of stairs uh, leads to a trap door in the ceiling above, and there are two wooden doors to the east side of the room that you may not be able to see yet. Given the dog. There's like a. Uh, so we killed three bandits upstairs, right? Uh, yes. Aye, so that's. And do all these is... beds look like they've been used? Uh... Ah! Or like military corner, like making their beds, you know? Yeah, you do not see that most of them are pretty messy. You think. Uh, they, they're in kind of a state that, that the animation shows. Maybe one or two of them are indecent, but everything else this is. This guy's an asshole. But they all look like they're, they've are they been, like, slept in. He didn't make shit. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, um, so, okay, we killed six, so I think that there might be the four left. As, uh, as they're uh, starting to look around, I'm cutting a little piece of ham off of this ham that's hanging on the hook over here. As I Definitely make sure that we uh, get a good look around this room here. Yes, a uh, very good look. And I go and I use my claws and I just... <laughs> just some slices. They're just hanging out of my mouth. Ominous oh, my... Be... It, it, high alert! It, it appears we're the only reasonable ones left at this point, so we should probably <laughs> secure the area and perhaps take a little look around. It's been a while since yep. we've had a decent can you, meal. Can you see anything outside of the torchlight that I would not be able to view? It's dark down here outside the door. Oh yeah, I can I can check the edges of the peripheries if you'd like. Yeah, you do yes. that. I'm gonna stay about these wooden locks. I'm not gonna start wandering around the room with my bowl of vittles and just kind of looking around and investigating, you know. And I'm opening lockers. Mm. Uh, they are all locked. Oh, they're all locked. Are these Sad. you can't are try to you can't try to muscle them open. Normal doors. Don't don't open them yet. Oh. Uh, Maya, roll me an investigation check so to see if the doors? one you're next to okay. is trapped. Wait, the doors or the lockers? Sorry. People are exploring multiple things. We've asked about normal doors. She froze. She froze. She's frozen. Yeah. She was, she was checking the doors, but is that frozen? Yeah, yeah she, was, okay. she was asking whether the doors were normal. Roll, there you are. Uh, me? What? You're fading in and out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Your connection's not great. Let's see. Ooh, with that investigation check, though. Uh, Maya, with your dark vision, you look to the two doors that no one has really looked at before, and you see that the board, the you door to your left. Yeah, I don't think you can hear us. Barely. Uh, there, you're, yeah, you're popping in and out, but mo you're usually frozen. This talking, how it moves the camera is incredible. Yeah. Do you want to wait on that what? for a sec, uh, GM, and I'll we'll check some of the footlockers? She seems to be oh, live now. Uh, sh 
Looks like she's back. Can you hear us? I can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you Better. there. Yes. A little bit, yeah. I haven't been You're able back. to hear you all. That was it. Oh. I know, but we haven't okay. been able to hear I've you. Been, I've thing. been able to hear y'all. I just didn't know y'all couldn't hear me. Hmm. Well, in any case, with your awesome investigation check, okay. you see that the um, door to your left uh, appears normal, but the one far ahead of you on the far wall has a wooden bar across it, held in bracers on the frame, and the door itself has the word danger scrawled across it in common, using chalk. Uh, seems like the first one we should go investigate. I am actually in complete agreement with you. What? That's usually <laughs> where they the hide each other. All the strange things we've seen. I yes, mean, but we have, I think those fireplaces have danger over them. Let's let's check the yeah. other door first. Maybe. I mean, we we will yeah, eventually let's, have let's to go with it in. Let's not go in there. I mean, we we do have to. I mean, it's part of the mission. To go yes, we do have to map there. everything. But let's do that last. Okay, so uh, my... We should capture a bandit, and then force him to open that door while we uh, tactically hide far, far behind the bed or something. I mean, all the bandits are currently dead. There's no capture. I'm gonna... But there must be... There's going to be more bandits. I'm gonna Look kick, uh, kick a chest here and say, should we go about unlocking these, uh, uh to say? Uh, Monterey, we'll make a quick athletics check. I, I, I didn't, like, try and kick it open. I was just giving it a little... Uh, okay. ...attention draw. But I mean, I'll, I'll roll shit. <laughs> I'll roll shit. I'll roll shit, man. What's up? Not very well. It's just a little yeah, baby a kick. Little... Tippity tap. Should I just <laughs> start cracking on these a little, or? Yeah, you already found the door, so. And you're the one with the skills. Go for it. Jim, do you want me to just roll one for all of them, or? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Just spared everyone. Mm -hmm. Roll uh, for all ten. Tools. We said deck save, right? That's the most equivalent thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Because <laughs> right. you're not proficient. Or you're not expertised. Eleven? Ooh. Uh, they appear to be just beyond your skill level. You don't know if it's rust or just uh, some new trick you haven't picked up yet, but they're giving you some issues. Sorry, folks, I... Wasn't able to get any of them open. Yeah, we check the bandits. Well, we could check them, see if they have any keys. Yeah. I mean, we check the bandits there. upstairs and there was no keys on. <clears throat> but yeah, we can check these ones too. Do I have a hand axe? What do I have here? I don't know. You probably don't, <laughs> no, you can't afford the weight. Well, no, I can't. Um, I have a small knife. I'm gonna take my small knife and try and uh, just see if I can stick it into the lock in this thing and try and break something in there. And hopefully not. Yeah, the athletics check. Oh, come on now. There it goes. Fifteen. Hey, that's enough. You're okay. able to jimmy open one of the lockers, and inside you find a pouch containing seven gold and fifteen silver. Holy moly, get to work on the rest of these, sirs. And, and, and lady. Uh, we join a jimmy open lockbox. Yeah, just shake this. It uh, appeared that these are not these aren't the best condition and you it's very possible to force them open they're about yay big so even just throwing them against a wall has the potential of breaking one open assuming nothing valuable and breakables in them yeah no i'm just gonna lever i'm gonna i'm gonna join on her and opening trying to open these lock boxes but i'm just gonna use my spear my spear tip i guess as more like a like a crowbar just try to lever the lever and open uh yeah i'm gonna yeah, try check Go ahead, Maya. I'm gonna use one of my daggers. Anyone who wants to give me athletics checks. No. I don't want to do that. Uh, Maya, don't quite do it. Of course. Amorosa, you're having issues. 
I mean, do I get advantage for trying to like, use a lever? No, my is not. No, there, there's an actual item for that. Yeah, I said like a crowbar. <laughs> so, pack a crowbar next time. The weight, though. <laughs> okay, I have no problem carrying the weight. You guys act like you can't move if you're. I am a little combat. mouse man. Okay. I am not strong. To be fair, Monterey would have the speed of 15 if he was encumbered. I, I can spare the weight also. Um, I mean, I as long it. as you're not in combat, it doesn't make too much of a difference. As I was walking mm -hmm. around, I did notice this little... <laughs> it's like a dresser or something over here. Is there anything uh -huh. interesting on it? Uh, roll me an investigation check, please. Do not smell the pantaloons. <laughs> Ooh. With a natural 20, uh, you dig about inside, you notice there's actually a distinct lack of clothing in this dresser. It oh. seems empty. And as you start pushing and prodding, you uh, push a panel and it seems to shift. And a doorway opens through this wall. Ah. Uh. I uh, there's definitely no pantaloons in here, uh, says, but I I believe perhaps I have found something maybe. Monterey, do you? But do you perhaps think this is the other trick by us? <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll an intelligence check, actually, <laughs> before I say anything about this. I mean, you're natural twentyed. I know, but I might think it's them playing a freaking trick on me. So. <laughs> Too good to be true. It's funny how successful you are in investigations, even with your minus one. <laughs> Eleven. I mean, you feel that the stuff. You see an open doorway in front of you, and you put your hand through. It just seems to be air. I definitely put my really? hand through first this time instead of running face first into it. I just kind of. Oh yeah, uh, uh, guys! It seems I, I found something over here. Oh, my secret passage. That is the best type of treasure. I'll kind of lean into Fable. Fable, is this you? No, it's not me. It's, I didn't. Okay. It's, it's a real thing. Well, well done, Monterey. That's a fantastic find. So, did we not get any of these chests open? I don't think I was we got. Of them. I think you got one open from Monterey. We can always come back and get them later. I just wanted to wait, see. Wait, adding to the party loot or not adding? We some got more. one. Honestly, I was just looking for pantaloons. <laughs> Or seven silver right. and gold, one of the two. Did somebody mark down what was there? Uh, no, I didn't. It was seven gold and fifteen silver. Right and uh, Indigo, I'm gonna give you actual five E torch light for now. We can discuss it uh, yeah. after the session and see how sure. it goes. Is someone changing that? Uh, I changed it on your token. All, All right. right. So for this, because there's not a door, uh, if you guys go through the wardrobe. Just you have to tell me so I can actually drag your token through. What, what's the what's the Should play we here? We have two real two real doors. Oh, you always go through door. the you always go through the secret door first. We go I under the war room. That makes sense to me. But why think we should go sneaky mode? Let me go first. But there's like something that, uh, surely yeah. something to be discovered over here. Now I'm going to get on all limbs. I'm very self conscious. Please do not bring it up. What if we leave okay. some of these bandits behind us by leaving this and explore? We're, we should we're split going the party. To, Two of us will stay here. No, we should we should prop up the bandits and then change their clothes. We can scale all in. I'm gonna go through the doorway, please. I'm, I'm, I'm just go through the doorway. Drag. There you are. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna explore yeah, this. Yeah. I was just looking for pantaloons. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I guess as soon as I go in, Amrose, um, it is very I, dark. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just pulled back out and say, uh, Monterey, give me the torch. Perhaps someone with so who does not need a torch should go in first. Right, because yeah. I might take an arrow first. But just give, me, give me the torch. I turn off my torch. Uh, okay, I will just adjust. Uh, does anyone else want to go in first who does not need it to I'll go as well. It's fine. I come it didn't turn I mean, I'm already, I'm already in there. It's a little hard to go first, but I'm already in there. Alright, alright. I'm going. Uh, you should okay. be able to Save turn your on hand. your own uh, torch there, bud. 
So Omro said is Forge an automatic thing because I'm going through the vision settings. No, no, no. Just if you yeah. click the character, if you right click the token on the top left, mm -hmm. you'll see a little fire icon, and that the player can turn the oh. torch on and on. Well, now Omaros has one anyway. Uh, so Sid, do you see where you are? Yeah, I see myself. Okay. Are you going to do some exploring? Are you waiting for the rest of your party? Uh, you no, doing? Sid has learned that he will do some waiting. He will not be going off oh. on his own and getting eaten okay, by gonna, centipedes. I'm going to drag you all through then. Uh, I get out the way here. How did you change it? Uh, I literally went, if you go to token and you go to your character sheet, mm -hmm. uh, at the top of your character sheet next to the orange cog, it says token. Mm -hmm. And what I do is you go to character, you have vision settings on um, token configuration, and you say emit dim, emit bright, and that's how you can kind of do it. And I figured out that that also allows everyone else to have the vision, the light that everyone else, it's communal light. Right. And so that's how I was doing torches. It's slow, but it's effective. Maya, why are you in a wall? There you go. <laughs> yeah, so there's the torch setting, and we can change the settings for that. But we can do that if again. we push forward with that torch, it, uh, it looks like there is a hey. bunch of torches. <laughs> we won't be it. able to see, or we won't be able to be sneaky. <laughs> yeah, that you, that's where you put me. Sorry. Omnos, do you want to take the lead, or do you want me to go first and be quiet, or? I didn't try that. So are you guys trying to stealth? What are you What are you doing? I would like to, but I, with the torches, I don't know how stealthy we can be. Hey, okay, um, so stealthy is not just it's quiet wise too, and Omnos turns back to you guys because you. Insistent on being stealthy. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll sneak the, out of your range. The, the bandits we just fought before, they, most of them seem to be human, I could see, in the torchlight, right? Yeah. So, a torch, someone walking down here with a torch is not suspicious. It's true. It's true. Good point. So, I'm just going to keep I'll walking. If you guys want to sleep, be fine for it. Yeah, I will sneak I'll right out of the, the, the main light of the torch. So as to not be seen if combat begins. All right, so everyone freeze. Uh, Amaros, what's your passive stealth? Uh, it's measured the same as passive perception. It's just ten yeah, plus uh, whatever uh, your perceptions. Stealth. I do not have social thirteen. Thirteen. Passive perception. Oh yeah, they they hear you coming and. Uh, they don't have an action prepared because they don't know if you're one of them or not. But now that they see you, guess what time it is? Oh, snap. It's time to talk they out our problems. Me, they see me, but I don't it's see them. Time to me. communicate like grown-ups. You can't it's see them? Sure. I cannot see them from the my position looking at my table. Bro, why is... Oh, this fire doesn't have any light. <laughs> it does. Uh, no, I see fire coming no, not... from the... I see light like coming from the fire, but more my token is. It, cannot see it still open. blocks range of vision. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll move them to there. So now you okay, see the other. Now I see. Okay. Or at least one of them. Uh, yes. So let's go ahead and roll initiative for them. Yeah, I can just barely see one of them. Yeah, but I can't get a good initiative roll. This is like the best I've been ever rolling initiative. I hey, always why roll four. Why is mine four? Can I roll a five? Sometimes the dice lie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope you don't have a minus one dex. I rolled a good initiative. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not. <laughs> Yay! Damn it! I rolled. Whenever I want to roll high, I don't. Whenever I don't want to roll high, I do. All right, uh, Fable leading us Great. off again. For some reason. Uh, you, what I will say to narrate it a little bit is you see Amros and Monterey start to go down this uh, right path and suddenly uh, you hear a, who's there? What do you do? <sighs> we have some of sausages. Uh, I was already sneaking, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna just kind of yes, you were. You and Monterey were actually being very sneaky. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of continue to this mm -hmm. hex, uh -huh. and then basically I'll hold my action and hit an enemy if they come in with range. Okay. Uh, Maya, you are up. You hear voices in the distance. She's frozen, I think. Um, Maya is gonna go. Uh, get close. You don't hear me? Yes, we. Well, oh my God! Somebody get a screen cap. <laughs> screen cap that right there. Um, that was a great expression. I'm gonna move a bit close. He's getting all the funny faces from her because they keep pausing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. If you can hear me, kill kill everyone's video, but your own. You can right click each person's face and kill their video and see if that helps you some. It's a weird bandwidth problem. Yeah. Also, try just leaving the group and coming back. That's worked for me sometimes in the past. <laughs> oh, oh, she covered up. You're back. She's there. I have no time to be on the cell phone. Yes, Focus. Yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> She's going to fireball your face. <laughs> yeah, we got gotcha, you, Gibbs. Go ahead, we gotcha. go. You're good. Okay. I'm going to move closer and see what is happening. And you gotta go in left and right. Which way do you choose? It was stay right here. Anything else? I uh, know that'll be my turn. Monterey, you are up. You hear uh, voices from further down this hallway. Okay, so I do see this guy. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, yes. yeah, I can just barely see him uh, from the uh, the firelight down there. I guess um, I'm gonna just kind of mm, I'm gonna kind of stay behind this fire so they can't really distinguish the difference between me and where the torch is and and this fire that's here. Um, maybe use it as a little bit of cover as well, just because I'm such a little guy, and I. I'm just going to take a shot with the crossbow and just kind of not just run right into battle as per usual just because I'm already a little injured here. Alright, it looks like the light, from the light, it looks like you have a direct shot, so go ahead and make a shot. 20. That'll hit. Nice. I will take that. Nice damage, too. Ooh, okay. That's, that's that's max damage. That is max They're damage. They're not doing great. Max damage. <laughs> I, I, I've taken them all uh, out. Oh, Go wait. ahead. Wait. wait. You use a hand crossbow, don't you? I do. Was that a disadvantage? You are out, you're in disadvantage range. That's the salty run back right there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's a super salty run back. <laughs> uh, can we can we argue the backup? Can we argue the fact that he was hidden? Because you did say they were being sneaky. Oh, that's true. I would have had advantage. Uh, so oh, he was sneaky, it. and you. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'll I'll allow that because you were hidden before with your twenty, and that's above their passive perception. Right. That would have so canceled that out. So. Reapply the damage. Good call. Yeah, it would have been a straight attack. Good call. Good call. Ooh. And again, he is very badly injured. Okay, and that will and be my turn. Right. Um, yeah, because I'm not gonna. I don't want to drop my my torch. I'm gonna. I call thought you that. gave the torch to Amaros. Did I? Oh, I you did. did. Or Amaros took it from you. One of the two. Yeah, I gotta turn off my light though. All right. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to stay there because... I didn't move it all, did I? 
Oh, that's, that's way up there real quick, sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to move to here just in case something comes out and I can kind of, you know, protect Maya from danger. <clears throat> what? I mean, uh, okay. that's the end of my turn. As you run there, you see this bandit coming over this way, and you see him wielding a light crossbow. He's going to fire at you. Oh, shit. I was just trying to be noble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess luckily for you, it's only an eight to hit. All right. And so this uh, crossbow comes, and he seems almost as surprised as you are that you're there, and he just haphazardly lets loose his bolt, and it hits no one. Okay. They can see you from there. Yes, they can. And they're going to do two longbow shots against the mouse. Ouch. That's rude. Jesus. First one is a 16. Next one is a 10. Does a 16 hit? Uh, it does. Alright, so one attack off, and that's a 3. Oof. I don't like it, but I'll so take two it. So arrows, two arrows come from around the corner, and one just barely grazes you. <sighs> oh, you'll pay for that, and sir! Duck back just a little bit further, and end their turn. Oh, they all go at the same round. Why did I even bother rolling? Uh, this guy has a clear shot on Amor. So he's going to take two shots on him. Longbow one. Nineteen. Oh, almost pretty good. Uh -oh. I'm critted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm probably Can't you do your arrow thing, or is that not monk yet? Nah, that's level, level three. three. Level two. That's eight points of damage. Mm-hmm. And not terrible. Seven points my of damage. Health. That's exactly my health. <sighs> Magic. All right. And Amaros goes down. Ouch. Uh, Amaros, with you being down, it is your turn. Uh, okay. Who's my death saves? Uh, uh, remember, yeah. I do death saves. In All right, you do. So I don't, I don't even need to take it. You don't even get to know. No. <sighs> but one was done for. Uh, Sid, you see Amaros with two arrows sticking out of him. He is unconscious. What do you do? Uh, you also see another bandit and possibly another arrow, uh, arrow shooter, also known as archers, that just ducked back <laughs> behind this corner. Okay. Good save. Good okay. save, Connor. Um, <laughs> I've used five of my movement. I can see this guy, it seems like, from my from my. Oh, for corner. sure. Okay. Um, so I will I will turn the corner, see Amrush go down, so I'll yeah. fire at this guy really quickly with my bow. This mm -hmm. is what I got out. Um in short bow, attack, normal. Please hit. <laughs> no. Alright, and then I will <clears throat> Were you sneaking? Uh I did roll a sneak earlier. Um it was a was thirteen, I believe, fifteen. Thirteen. Uh... It wasn't that great. So it would passive. actually be... Well, you're in the torchlight. He sees you. Okay. Yeah, it's going to miss. Okay. Um... Wait, which torchlight? My torchlight? There's one right here. There's a torch over around the corner that oh, you can okay. see. Um, so that was 5, 10, 15, uh, 20... Uh, saw him go down by two arrows so I will I think stay here honestly I don't want to get too far into the range of that hallway uh, All right. that's my turn yeah uh, Fable it is your turn I will tippity toe down this 
I see the bastard who took Omaros down. Do I still uh, am I still sneaking? Them. Am I still sneaky from the core? I mean, they're looking directly at the one way. If you see them, they see you. So I'm gonna. Well, I will say I am... if you act right now, I will say you can't hex them. If you, I will say you can either hex them and attack, or you can have advantage and attack. Those are your choices. I love it. Because if you hex them, that'll take a second, and that will give away your stealth. Got it. Uh, my cat fur blends perfectly against this rock. In the attack. There we go. Definitely hits. It definitely hits. Uh, it still rolls. Oh, great. Man, those, those D8 rolls are good, <laughs> man. Min damage one. <laughs> uh, I will knock him, knock him back, I guess. Uh, he goes into the wall with nowhere to go. <laughs> Except for his pride. <laughs> can we can we argue <laughs> that he takes how he takes like one d six worth of damage because the force would normally knock him back ten feet? <laughs> we are not playing that game. <laughs> Eldritch Blast does not need a D6 for an additional D6 every time it hits. Well, it's not every time it hits. It's if you if it hits you and you're against a hard surface. Um, nope. It pushes so plenty. In, uh, does, are we out of healing potions? Uh, yes. We are. Mm -hmm. I thought we okay. had one. Maya still has one. No, we mm -hmm. used both. One on me and one on Fable the last time. No, I was... You didn't use it on Fable. Fable. Yes, well, I got up it? and I ran across the hallway. You handed it oh, to that's me right. and I shoved that's it in right. his mouth. And I held his head gently while he came to. Came to. Um, I need the med kit. Uh, okay, maybe I'll use my. Can I? I'll use my um, cat agility. Can I run over to Maya and like grab it? I, I would say that? yes. Yeah, I'll say that. Not you can't use it. Yeah, 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 but just grab, grab it. I kind of have it and yeah. I like come back here and I kind of have it like out either for me to use or Sid to use. I'll allow that, yeah. And you, they are out of range of the archers. But per perhaps we should retreat. I, I don't know why, because it's my turn and I could have just gone down there and used it. You could just <laughs> run back and snatch it from him, I guess. You <laughs> <laughs> can run there and just snatch it. Give that back. You do have two bad guys coming up to you on the other side, though, that you may want to take care of. Okay, um... Save Omaros, I'll deal with these scoundrels. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah. All strength cleric, guys. <laughs> Somebody. Um... It's like whoever dies first. <laughs> whoever dies first has to roll a cleric, that's the rule. <laughs> I don't want Monterey to die. He's got too much adventure left in his little body. I was going to do crossbow, but I don't think... Because I have a light crossbow, but it didn't get put into uh -huh. the character sheet. Well, um... If you want to just roll a d20 and add your dex to it, with I can just... Uh, and profession is... Profession. Is okay. So roll a d20 plus four if you know how to do that. Okay. If you know how to type it in. Slash that'll be your, like, one d20 plus four. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Yep. Yep. One d20. Your dex plus your prof. What? There you do in computer. I just put a light crossbow on your character sheet. Thank oh. you. Ooh, that's a natural one. Oh, is no. it? I didn't, so I didn't see that something happened to my laptop. Yeah, it, it's, it rolled a one. Oh. It's gonna miss, I'm afraid. Monterey's tail just tickles your nose <laughs> at just the wrong time and gives you a natural one as a result. <sighs> I'm gonna just lightly smack Monterey. Oh, tail damn. Away. It was <laughs> not my fault. Sometimes it just has a little mind of its own and it just gets all over the place. You know, it's, you should try having a tail sometime. You know what and I mean, does Fable? Have a tail? You know does what I, I mean, have, like, Fable? A fish tail? I don't think so. <laughs> she has fins Free on her ears. Fable's got a tail. He knows what I mean. Okay, that's not the tail. I can see it's your whip. Everyone can see you were trying to get your whip out. It's 
It's probably the web's fault, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> It was, a, it was the whip. Anyone okay. by you or anybody in your vicinity is whip related, so. <laughs> that will be my turn. It's not All even right. my fault, and Monterey, it's still my it's fault. It's your turn. Never. I'm the hero of this party. Fault Jason. <laughs> I am the hero of this party. 5, 10, to there, and I am going to stab yep. this fucking guy. And you do have both hands free. I do, and I'm gonna whip him. Because Amaros has the... Yeah, and you're in the torchlight, so you're fine. I'm gonna whip him if necessary. Ooh, that's a good hit. It is a good hit. Not bad damage. He's still up? Uh, still... Still up. Do I have disadvantage trying to whip him at 5 feet? I just get 10 feet, no. right? No, whip is... I don't think you get disadvantage. You do not get it's just you get extended range. Right. It is disadvantage? No. No, you do not. Oh, no, I didn't think so. I am going to attack this The only bastard. one that's like that is the, uh, the lance. I hit with my whip! It definitely hits. Yes! <laughs> yep. Guys, I gotta find my happy moments, okay? <laughs> this is a happy moment. You actually strike the wall oh, behind and... him and a rock falls on his head, and that's where the damage <laughs> comes from. How do, you, how do you want to finish this guy off with your whip, Monterey? After uh, I come up and stab him, and then I pull the sword out, and uh, I'm actually, as he's kind of like bending over a little bit from the stab wound, I'm just going to pull out the whip, and I'm just going to hit him with the butt of it, just right up on his uh, temple, just knock him to the ground. And I kind of turn back goes. to the group, and I'm like, hmm. And I, you know, no one's looking. Everyone's looking at poor Amaros. Nobody, yep. yeah. nobody yeah. cares. <laughs> Just let me have my moment. Alright, so <laughs> that was 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> and then there's another one! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Um, as I come around the corner and I see this guy, I just kind of like heep and poop a little bit, and then I'm gonna action surge. Oh, okay. I can't second win, can I? You've already used your bonus nope. action. It's true. So you use your second attack. It's true, but I can stab this guy with the cutlass. And I will do so. Let's see. Oh, yes. oh let's see. Yes. There's, a There's, a time. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's ever a chance. There's ever a time. Huge. <laughs> Not like, quite oh, enough. Oh! oh. Um, but as I come around the corner, since since it is a natural 20, as I come around the corner, I'm actually going to run up and I'm going to vault off of his knee. And as I kind of like get that space back again, I'm going to slice him right across his throat. And as I land down in front of him, yeah, he's spurting. He is, he is definitely spurting. You, were, you need max damage and you were short by one. Man, it's close. I wouldn't want to attack a mouse that just did that to me, I'm just saying. <laughs> sure Alright, that's the end of my turn, that's the end of my turn, thank you. Alright, that one's dead. Um, the next one, I believe, is... Uh, he's gonna get out his... Uh, well first, he's gonna start yelling out, Hey, we need help! And then he's gonna make two short sword attacks against... No, you Andre. don't! We're all good here! <laughs> Give me the old Han Solo. Yeah, oh, we're all good. How, how are you doing? <laughs> These are not the oh, good the guys Chris you're looking are just for. rolling in. Nice. Ooh. Okay, oh, wait. so let's start with the crit. And Was see that on me? You... Fuck. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good for uh, us. Was... Uh, damage, critical hit. Oh, no. That's 13 for you, Monterey. I'm down. I'm down, guys. And Maya, you hear just another little eep of a mouse both possibly going down, and you see uh, this guy, uh, a see archer, Monterey run away. Can. You can't? Or you can? I can. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That's one, two, three, four, five and six, and you see uh, what appears to be an archer running away further into the cave. His that throat is, the is cut. That is the end of his turn, though. 
Hey, I we've all been unconscious right. now. <laughs> I yelled to, uh, to, oh, dang it. I was just yelled to Fable that I needed the med kit back. But, um, uh, oh, he's gone Fable's now. gonna probably be busy. All right, the second death saving throw for Amaros. <sighs> the mouse is down. Uh, Sid, it is your turn. What are you doing? Maya would let Sid know that, uh, the mouse is down. Sid, you gotta save us all, buddy. (laughs) Yeah. Um. I'm just not training anything useful. Mm -hmm. I have a plus one in medicine. Does that do anything for me? Something. That's something. It it means you can roll a nine and still succeed. I mean, (laughs) uh, he has the kit. You know that. Yeah, Fable has the kit. kit. Fable has the kit, yeah. I would allow you to bonus action, take it from him, and use an action to try to stabilize Amaros. Um, Yeah, 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 that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. (laughs) Uh, Alright, so I will slide by here, uh, grab the kit with a bonus action, and then I will action, try to... I will rub this coin, <laughs> rub this coin on my chest, and be like, look here, buddy. If there's anything, anything left, you need to teach me. Now's the time. And uh, I will, I will, I will try and stabilize Armoros. With the medicine kit, there is no roll. He is automatically stabilized. Nice. But okay. mark off a uh, a use of the kit for us kids. My, are you That's keeping track of that? I don't think I have it. Yeah. His. Okay. Uh, we have used it. Another time, I believe. Yeah, we use it at least yeah. once. Where did I put the medicine kit? Um, so that's, I think that was uh, 5, 10 through Fable, 15. Um, does this guy see? Oh, okay, I don't see him. Uh, Why'd you have to go through Fable? Because I went through Fable. So I was like, what? 5, Sorry. 10, 15. 5, 10, 15, it all works. I mean, I guess I could go here, okay. yeah, and just save the 5, yeah. And then yeah. actually, can I, so if he's stabilized, can yep. I uh, just kind of drag him back out of this hallway? Uh, how much movement do you have left? Uh, I think I was... Honestly, pretty, honestly I th- I the was, thing is, you'd have to you'd have to grapple into my... I already, I already let you have an interact with object for the medicine kit, so I'm going to say no. Okay, that's fine. Then I will... Um, Pop back behind cover here, and in my turn. Right. Brings us back to Fable. Are we winning it? Uh, we're we're doing something. I I took the medicine kit from you and I stabilized Omaros. Yeah, I saw all of that. Why are you telling? Why are you recapping it for me? I just, just, <laughs> just in case you were you were stung by how fast I, I'm very fast. I'm just moving quickly. You do it quickly to lands. Uh, yes, I shall. Uh, give you the hex of the tar ropes. Uh, I'm afraid this guy was holding his action for someone who who was alive oh to come in his view. He only gets one attack though, because held actions doesn't allow for multi attack. Okay. Do I have any cover too? Kind of like I'm kind of at that cliff. Um, no. Yeah. Actually, the. the uh, never mind. Uh, so Longbow, just a straight attack. 20's in one, natural that's all one. we can roll. <laughs> Alright, cover. Fable, it's your turn. Uh, now this guy's human, right? He is human. And, uh, there's no torches over here, right? Uh, no, but there's a fireplace right here, and Amaros' torch kind of fell on the floor. Oh, so there's just lit up, so I can't, like, get any advantages by going through darkness or anything. Um, I'll just attack. Uh, I mean, not really, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, kidding me. Uh, 12 is going to miss. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that was all of my big kaboo. Um, oh, will... and did you hex him? Yeah, he's hexed, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I, will, I will hex his wisdom, so he cannot make okay. perception checks well. <laughs> okay. And I shall move back. Uh, 
and say, come and get me! <laughs> Maya, you're up. Okay. Um, question. This, uh, the, ba the dead bandit to my yes. right, would I, I be able to yep. occupy that space or no? Now that he is dead, you absolutely can. Okay. So I'm going to go right here, grab the medicine kit from Sid. Sure. And then I did count this. I can go all the way to here. And that's, that's, that's yep, all my that's movement. That's good. That works. Okay. And then from right there, can am I able to, to stabilize Monterey? Yep, mark off run? another okay. use of the medicine kit. Nope, you're okay. within five feet. It's fine. Okay. So we now have... We, we have to be fair, we have the medicine kit, don't we? <laughs> no, she took it from me. She took it from Sid. Oh. She she doubled back a little bit. Got it. That's the thing about I'm not, I'm not trying to what other people are doing. So he comes back as a strength player. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and All right. that will be my turn. Uh, Monterey, you don't have to make saving throws, so this guy, he is going to keep running 5, 10, 15, and, uh, Maya, with how close you are, you hear him yelling further down, Guys, they, some, someone's in, they're trying, we're attacking, we're under attack! And you hear more voices from further down the hallway, multiple voices. Those weirdos were doubling up on beds. I have to get the fuck out of here. We have to get out of here. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's that one's turn. <clears throat> I mean, they might have been sleeping is... in rotation. And there's rooms that's we haven't turn. explored yet. Let's see. This person doesn't... This person who is at the bottom, who is covered in, apparently, kelp and oily rope and tar, not having a good day, is going to try and look for There's about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... Uh, where'd Maya go? She's here. I'm I'm still there. Oh, you're on top of the token. I thought it was covered with the skull. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna make a dash. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Do you have uh, a weapon, a melee weapon? I have daggers. Make a dagger attack for free as he tries to run by okay. you. Okay. Um, I have daggers. Uh, it doesn't pop up on the equipment that I have, so... I'm just so when you click here. your token, it, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it should be under your strange. I have so it. So one d4 plus four. We'll fix it this week. Okay, one d4 plus you see four for an attack roll. Yep. One d4. Let's see. Drop. That's if you hit. Oh, I'm sorry. One d20 plus four. So that that's if you hit, which is good. <laughs> Good to know. Plus four. Uh, that's what I was She's never was gonna like, hit with what? a D four. <laughs> That'd be yeah. I'm afraid <laughs> you do miss. And uh, this person <laughs> is just running full out, and you just he ducks under your attack, and he gets this far, but you still hear these voices and footsteps that are starting to come towards you, Maya. Uh, which brings us to Sid. Did y'all see that this fire is animated down here? I saw that. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. I mean, both the fires glow like burning embers. So amazing. I will, uh... I guess seeing Maya run off that direction, follow her. I... Ten... These are Let's weird squares here. Try your... Fifteen. Oh. And I'll say, Sid, with your passive perception, you start to hear the voices, too, and more footsteps coming from further down this hallway. Okay. Um, can I kind of call out, like, Fable and Monterey, like, or, or uh, Fable, my, like, grab, grab Monterey, and, and let's let's pull back to the barracks. Um, and then I will cover them and let loose an arrow. <clears throat> um, call this a strategic repositioning. Never. Nope. Eight. Um, afraid not. This this scout's getting lucky. Uh, I think I have one more left, so I'm just gonna try and get out of the way here. And there might be more in the way. 
can I occupy like this square right here? Is that out of the way ish? Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay. Yeah, some of the squares I don't know if they're legit or not, but yeah, I'll just try and get out of the well, way. Well, you're level two, you have cunning action. Um. Yeah, the Kraken can dash. I dodge, just have to only. Oh, I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the dodge action, I guess. Sorry, no, dash. Dash, disengage. Or, or hide. hide. Yeah. Oh, then I'll hide here against the, the wall. Hey, give me a stealth check. Give that sweet, sweet rogue level two. 15? Yep. Okay. Uh, that brings us back to the top with Fable. You see Amoros' stable, and you heard footsteps from yes. down below running away from you. I will we grab did. Amoros, move 15 feet. Half my speed. I'll, I'll, I'll drag him with you. Here. And then I shall yeah, say, move, I am a big wizard, and I cast a crazy spell! And I'm going to uh, sit and make noises. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm, uh, as this guy's Actually, running Actually, what's your passive perception? Uh, you don't see Sid. <laughs> well, he, he's hiding, but like from the other direction. I mean, I would see okay, him. That's actually him. fair. From the angle, you can yeah. see it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, <laughs> I, I then use my silent image at will and uh, make a rock fall um, in this square here. Mm. Okay. Like, like the cave, like uh, a cave in. Okay. Okay. This guy's like he's running you... away, so like I'm, you know. Okay, so with your image, are you gonna try and sync it up with Sid and wait, or are you gonna do it? Now? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll wait and uh, if you, to do some noise, I guess. Yeah, I'll hold my action and, and let um, Sid. Okay. Some flavor. Um... Uh, Maya, it's your turn. Did he say he's gonna wait to have the rock fall, or the rock already fall? Oh, I'm right back. You don't we're quite right know back. what's happening. Yeah. Um. But you know okay. reinforcements for the bad guys are coming. The the point of course you don't see any rock fall because you can okay. see on that camera. You won't see any more. Okay, I'm gonna try and um. I'm going to move up to right. Can I move to right here, or is that? You can move there, yeah. OK. So it's 10 feet. And then I'm going to do Thunderclap. Thunderclap is uh, I think Thunderclap is five feet range. Oh, uh, OK, then I'll move up one more. Do you mean Thunder? Nope, Thunderclap. Uh, I wanted to do yeah, a that's five. OK, okay. Thunderclap. So he's going to make a con save, I believe? Uh, DC 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Save and throw. Normal. Mm. That is a fail. Roll me the damage. Nice. Damage. Three. Three damage. Uh, do much he takes damage, it. Though. And I will say, uh, Fable, you hear a very large sound. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, my trigger, can I use that and then make a, like, cave in here? As yeah. Says the, okay. I'll allow it, yeah. It's still within range. So suddenly you guys see with the thunder of Maya's step that uh, rocks appear to fall and completely obscure this part of the tunnel, for those of you who can't see that far. And this guy looks terrified. And that will and be my turn. All right. Uh, it is this guy who sees is now cut off. Uh, and they you hear yelling as they see this cave in and they don't. They'll look forward. Uh, he's going to do a quick investigation check. Uh, skills. Investigation. Normal. Oh, no. That, that Them's real rocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's his turn. This guy, uh, thinking his thing is cut off, is going to turn towards you, Maya, and yeah. he's going to make some attacks. I'm scared. Short sword attacks, two of them. Do you have shield? Hurts. 12 to that hit. That one hits. That one hits. 12 hits? 
Mm -hmm. That's my AC. He doesn't have mage spell. armor. Uh, do you have shield this spell? Mm -mm. Okay. Seven damage. Seven. Okay. Uh, Red is speed. <laughs> what is going on with Attack my. Number two. Oh no! Oh 18. fuck. 18. Why did you come into melee? <laughs> Six I'm more, down. thirteen I total. I believe I, yeah, I'm down. That is your health. That is my health. I'll just e -PK. Get back in there. TPK. I can't. I'm down. This was this was for level one adventures. Fine. I mean, hopefully you'd be level. Actually, I think yes. This would be level one with how it's written. Wow. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's insane. They give an F back in the day when they made these modules. It was a meat grinder, and you were supposed to have like I guess multiple long rests. Uh, yeah, we've only taken one, we, one long rest. <laughs> I mean, even still, you can't survive. Yeah. Uh, Sid, you you hear uh, fighting and a shout as Maya. Uh, you hear her body hit the floor, but you are still hidden. Um. All right. Five. And I see yep. this. Um, yeah. And I see the rocks at this point too, probably right. Right about here. Well, yeah. you knew I was whispering that it's an illusion, so you yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can I? Five, ten, fifteen. Can I occupy her space when she's unconscious or no? If she is unconscious and on the ground, I will say yes. Okay, then I will. I will stand over her and make a, yeah. a dagger attack at this guy. Hey, Sid, okay. just because of your Sid and his character mothers, you were hidden from far away. If you turn the corner and maybe make a shot, because Sid would know, you'd have advantage if you are hidden. Yeah, but Sid also knows that if he misses that shot with daggers, he can use his bonus action to do two-handed fighting and actually make a second swing, and this guy needs to die. Uh, so. so technically he can't. It's he can't do two weapon Cause, fighting? Cause he can. Well, yeah, um, okay, so listen, I'm just trying to make sure that this is all fair and close. Especially for any people who are new watching. You, mm -hmm. you said you've uh, had a bow out. You've been taking shots. So as you hit it, you come around the corner to attack and run out your dagger. So you have to drop your bow and you can pull one dagger. Oh. So that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm mentioning. You cannot two weapon fight because that's you can't. No, that's, that's, that's really fair. That's fair. Uh. Well then, yeah. Then I'll just take. I'll take a. I'll take a range shot then. Um, All right. From here. You still get your. You still get two d twenties, and you actually get sneak attack because you have were hidden. Otherwise, you wouldn't get sneak okay. attack. Attack. With advantage. Come on. As long as something hits. That, <laughs> that hits. All right. Then How then... do you want to do it? He can't survive this. Uh yeah. At this point, we're in oh shit mode. So there's no there's no flare. There's no finesse. It's just lo releasing a bow and then immediately like. Not even seeing if it connects, kind of still running towards Maya. Okay. Oh no, not that one. <laughs> there. Um. So. Um. We go on the road now, and I, I bring you into my schemes, and we become a. Uh... <laughs> it's just you and me. We're gonna just <laughs> call everyone for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Uh... If you, you don't have to save me. I, I can out mind coming back as a cleric. I actually have a, oh, no, a no, no. outline for like the best. You guys aren't dead are. yet. Yeah, the yeah, illusion was actually <laughs> very good. No one's. Uh, can I use my bonus action to take her medicine kit from her? I will allow that. Um. Because I can't, I can't grapple either two of these at this point. So then I will hold my ground here, with the medicine mm -hmm. kit and my bow, and sure, we'll see what happens. All right. It goes to Fable. What are you doing? Can we can't carry your illusion team. The <laughs> one <by> here. <laughs> we can't Fable carry three bodies. Take off. Like, like at this point. Like, he hasn't had enough time to try to, like, learn heroics yet, so... Uh, he leaves us all to die. He might, I mean, honestly. <laughs> uh, he likes Sid a lot, though. Hmm. Has no feeling drama in full I got it. 
<laughs> well, because Sid, you know, like scheme wise is good for his schemes, uh, and Sid's alive. That's what I meant. Two um, perks. Two perks. Good. He's thing. a good tool. <laughs> alive. Yeah, he's a good. Re- he's a good resource. Uh. It's okay. No low. I guess I'll try to give you advantage on the medicine check, or I'll try to actually pull Monterey back. So I moved like fifteen, and I'll try to move him back fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, after that, Sid, what are you doing? We're gonna get out of combat. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grapple Maya and try and pull her as far as I can. I mean, at half speed, and with 25, I can only bring her back like Ten. two squares tops. Yeah. Are you gonna try and heal her? Oh yeah, heal I guess I should do that. Actually, I should probably do that before. Because Dragon my unconscious body. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's yeah, like bleeding like, out. I know, I know, but it's like <laughs> you can bleed a little bit. I mean, um, what are you doing? Yeah, I thought Maya was cold blooded. No, it's just a matter of getting you away from this <laughs> fake wall that I don't know how long will last. This illusion that people think. Um, no, I need to pull you back first. I think. Honestly, like that's my gut reaction is to pull you back first, and okay. then and then like get you away from this wall, and try to uh, and then try to heal you like away from people. Um, but that's, I mean, I'll bonus action and hide. Um, yeah, because ah. yeah, there's nothing there's nothing else I have like handy. Um, So, 21. Okay, it's a good self. I'm gonna, out of initiative, roll an investigation check for someone else. Let's be clear, is there a reason, is there something that's blocking him to not believe the first guy who said there's a real one? Well, and this is more just like to see if they can get through. Okay. Like, yeah. if there's a wall, they're gonna try and clear it. <clears throat> that makes more sense. Uh, what did you do see on the road? Uh, 14, I think. 14. That just fails. All right. I can't handle this. Uh, <laughs> you guys start to hear uh, voices that, uh, because there are no rocks, you can hear very clearly. You hear uh, mumbling, oh, the, the cave just fell. I don't know what happened. And then suddenly you hear uh, sort of like the shift of fabric and robes rubbing against each other and you hear a voice hmm. Sandabel is not pleased you have all disappointed him come on back to the ship and take the loot with you and you all hear uh, scrambling as what sounds like several pairs of footsteps uh, pop to and begin to move apparently the loot back to what was perhaps a ship. Is there anything else you, Fable or Sid wants to do? I cry a single tear at lost loot and chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will st- use the medicine kit to stabilize Maya. She is stabilized. Also, what was the name we, that they heard? It was it Sandabel or Zandabel? Uh, Sa- I actually said it wrong. Sanbalay. Sanbalay. Spell that one wrong. S A N B A L E T. I don't want to know, know the spelling. <laughs> oh, E T. I did the accent though. I did. I can't do it on the keyboard because I'm not good enough to do that. But I, in my head, I said mm. that's that's an E. That's an accent E. Uh, it's can. It's Alt one three six. I believe. What? I was very impressed if that was right. <laughs> Is that right? That's a lot for a fucking accent. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yes. that's, and that's why I've never tried to write it a day in my life. Because I used to do it because I had to type in Spanish a lot in yeah. my Spanish class. Yeah. Oh god, that's... In no, any case, okay. before we go too far off no, track... No, we don't even go to Spanish. <laughs> don't... Fable, I, I am at... I think they're gone. I think they... I think they ran. Yes, I think they ran with the loot. <laughs> Better take the loot than take all of our lives, I suppose, but 
the hell are we going to do? We can't. We can try to drag them back to the barracks, or should we just? Yes, it's very nice. We should go into this cave. Room. No, we should. We should drag them back to this room. Okay, can we? Can we with our combined <laughs> twin powers carry? I'll get. Eventually, I'll get. I'll get Monterey. So you get Maya and Amros. <laughs> so, wait, that, that does not seem like equal share of labor. He's a little guy. He needs to get the little guy. <laughs> We'll split um, Amaros. He's the, Amaros is really heavy. His center of gravity is really low. No, we'll we'll put to... Amaros onto uh, onto um, Monterey. Monterey. This is a furry body. Can we uh, can we take a quick break? It is time for the break. I was just getting you all back in this room. So yeah, uh, you guys, another encounter in this death house. This but, is really uh, death. Not a TPK the yet. The rock wall was clutch. I will say that. The rock wall was really clutch. The rock wall saved all your butts. And thunderclap. Even thunderclap helped, despite the fact <laughs> that it got you killed. It, it helped at least with the illusions. Yeah, all it makes some illusions. But, all right, so we'll see what our group does when we come back from our break. It's true, and we'll be right back here in just a second. Please go grab some to drink, use the restroom, any of that kind of stuff you need to do, and we'll be back here in uh, just a couple seconds. Hopefully the group levels up when we get back from the break. That's what I'd like. It's not going to get any better behind the scenes. Quinn's face. Quinn <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we are just going to switch right on back over to this battle screen and go from here then. Welcome back. We made it. So as I was All saying, right. we've... Uh, sorry. Okay, go on. <laughs> so for those of you who are just joining us, uh, almost a TPK, but not quite. Uh, through some brilliant ingenuity of magical skill, uh, our warlock created a seemingly cave-in that was tripped by a thunderstep from our sorcerer, making the remaining enemies think that the tunnel had collapsed and there was no way to get at them. And they had since retreated back to the room you see before you, a cellar that has been turned into a sort of barracks. Uh, luckily there is an abundance of beds as well as food and supplies. Uh, and our gnome rogue Sid and our tabaxi warlock Fable have now to decide what they are going to do. So I think me and I think we're like I think we're in the same mind. We're just going to barricade those two doors and then rest it out here, right? Yeah, that's, that's an option. I was thinking we open the danger door, see what's behind oh, there. Yes. Maybe just <laughs> roll the die a little bit, see what see what happens. Or we can lead whatever is in the danger door down into that passage, and it will take care of them. No, they'll kill each other. We could have spared ourselves an entire fight. That is true. Next time. I like take a bite of whatever crusty bread I just grabbed from the uh, table. I grab some ham. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. it's not bad. I can have a piece. Piece of the ham. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, so... ham right there. <laughs> you want my ham? <laughs> Why? You had the whole ham. In here, here. Ham. I handed it to you. I actually <laughs> chewed piece of ham. I just, you sick bastard. Oh, here, take did, this ham. <laughs> <laughs> ABC food. It's actually pretty. It's actually a pretty good with ham. Uh, the problem is, there's like 19 entrances into this room, and we've only seen two. Well, there's yeah, the there's two entrances. In. Yeah. So I'm not worried we about did, those. I'm just worried about the ones that are deeper in. I don't think we have to worry about anybody coming in after us. Did you see the centipedes that roamed the first floor <laughs> earlier? We must. It's we've been through this whole house. There's nothing else up there. I I saw weird rat, weird creatures running okay, around bushes. Fine, 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 fine. We shall. We can barricade that door, and we can also barricade the uh, the hatch. Can we, like, stick a stick under the hatch and kind of have that stop, too? The upper hatch here. Um, roll me just an intelligence check. This is all for a combination of investigation, looking for something that you can use, and also just using it appropriately. Uh, if you guys can roll separately, or one of you can roll with advantage. No, separate. Uh, I could probably help you. I have a pretty good intelligence if you'd I'll... like the assistance. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got an enemy coming for you. He's looking for you. God. Uh, you said you're going to roll separate? Yeah. Fine. Because you're better luck than me, probably. Yeah. Okay. Hey. With an 18, uh, you are able to find a good amount of wood that is still in relatively good condition. It appears to be sort of the crates that uh, they brought food in, which is relatively fresh and you disassemble it and find a way to sort of jam the trap door that leads up the stairs from opening. 
Oh, you probably nail it shut, right, with your little hammer. Yeah, I think I'm yeah, working tools. tools. I can I can <laughs> use the use a good nail. I, I think we're more worried about the one that came, like the the one. I'll drag a bed. I'll drag a bed in front of that one. Okay. Is that enough to? Is it, which way does it open? Inward or outward or what? Uh, it probably opens in towards the cave. If so it's like a shell, it would have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Together, you are able to drag a bed in front of it, uh, which is some comfort. Is so it, yeah, the four, the four, <laughs> the four doors. This one, obviously, everyone but the one that has that bar already over it will will kind of um, jam it up and then rest out. And okay. I'll go over to Maya so you... and sing a lullaby to her as she's sleeping. <laughs> go ahead. Little we'll fish wait. in the river, <laughs> swim, swim, swim. Little cat will swim after you and maybe get a snack. But wait, and then I'll go back over and sing each of them a lullaby. Maya's gonna have nightmares. <laughs> I'm a cat chasing her now. Should I? Fable, Fable, quickly. Yes. Should I carve a peephole into the, the top floor? I mean, oh my I, god. I, I thought that was a given. Okay. Why even ask? Always carve the people. <laughs> Always carve the people. Sid, like, writes it down and, like, nothing, because he has nothing. <clears throat> Technically, when you looked up as you were talking about it, you would see one. <laughs> no, that was the wrong floor. The people is it's in the second the floor. Second floor, looking down. <laughs> at the four oh, to new right. depending people. Depending where you place, looking down depending where you place this door. people, you may see the people in the ceiling <laughs> of the room above. Well, it's ultimate people convergence. <laughs> it's a three-way people. Which is right. You could look all the way to all the way up. Oh my god! You could look at you, the soul. I'm not carving other people because actually I don't think I'm. Funny if two people's uh, vision meets, is it create like a uh, um, temporal dis distortion in reality? So you and can suck us into, into another, a pocket dimension. Another plane. You could peek yes. into the into the Feywild, I believe. Uh, well, they just see each other. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, we uh, yeah, let's barricade them. Then we'll just, I think we'll just take a long rest at this. I mean, we'll just wait it out and have some food as they're resting. Yeah. I'd do they need to roll a d4 for their consciousness, which is what we've done in the past? Uh, considering there's no uh, actual threat at this point, you all, the three of you, will wake up with one HP. <laughs> wake up. Do anyone else have nightmares about someone <laughs> singing to them? <laughs> Sounds strangely was... like our cat fan. Yeah, I had a strange I... dream. Strange, strange nightmare. Like Maya, you are you are tucked in so tightly. Like, it's like a burrito. You are just. It's like a weighted blanket. I monitor it barely. I... It has a little head above the, the sheet. It's just so wrapped around. Like... I I actually will say, Fable and Sid, with your you had some extra time. If you want to try and go for these lock boxes again, you could try. Oh yeah, another crack. Might as well. While we're waiting for them to wake up, can I do the lock pick? Or should uh... I just try and break them open. You can do whichever any skill you want. Um, Probably athletics I... or skills. Can I support uh, Sid? Skills. Can I support Sid with my um, sl sleight of hand? Like, roll me a sleight of hand check. Okay. Let's see if you can give me an advantage. Oh. I th Not think bad. that's just what you needed. Not bad. Uh, Sid, roll with advantage for a thief's tools check or your own sleight of whichever one we decide. Oh, I needed it. Still sixteen. Uh, you're able to get open all of the boxes. Once you figure out how one of them is locked, you, it's clear that all of them have the same mechanism. Thanks so much, and Fable. Thank you. <laughs> collectively, you obtain, and this is including the first box you opened, 70 oh, gold and 105 silver pieces. Dear wait, wait, hold on. So, because I already put the other gold in, so well, how much was that one box? So, a total will be 70 gold. So, uh, it'll... So it was seven gold before, so add 63 then. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Good God, got it. And then, okay, and then the silver was just And then add, yeah. add 90 more gold. Just, add 90 more silver. You pieces. said gold. Yeah. We actually put <laughs> Monterey in the first, we put Monterey in the first box we opened, and not in bed, <laughs> so he's actually in a box and it's closed. He's snug. No, I'm just kidding. We wouldn't do that to you, Monterey. Right. So you guys are evil. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, we we gave him a little breathing hole. Every... Hello, people. people? <laughs> I'm about to say breathing <laughs> people. <laughs> Alright. Uh, rise and shine. Welcome back to the land of the living. 
I made soup. What? Uh, did you make soup, or is this the soup that was already in there? <laughs> it's gonna be honest. I made soup. soup. Made soup. <laughs> Hold on. Pretty made. <laughs> I'm glad you this is pretty made soup. I, I, I saw Mo I saw Monterey. <laughs> I don't do to it dig around well. in that yeah. too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's clear. It's like cold. It's cold. Like I didn't warm it up even first, so it's clearly <laughs> the old soup. Yeah. Right. Uh, great. I, I lean. I lean over towards uh, Monterey, who's finally away with me, and go. Me and you gotta practice dodging. Just like <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna start having training sessions, <clears throat> and, and we're gonna practice on dodging and everything. <laughs> you can Mine's dodge a range. Gonna... You can dodge an arrow. I suppose they did make it look a lot easier on the on the ship. Yeah. Mine's gonna on. look up, look around, and just lay back down. She's <laughs> she's not even gonna deal with them. After that nightmare of the cat chasing her. Uh, I go, of course, noticing that all the lock boxes are now open because they're at the foot of our beds. As I, you know, release myself from the stuff, the, the, the tuck. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys find in the boxes? Just money. Fat cash. Like, you said just money, like small, small amounts? Like, because I think, uh, didn't you find something earlier? So... Like, like that, but like 10 times. Like, each one of these had like the same exact amount of money we'll just in it or something. Hold up the similar. bag and chink it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're, we're, I mean, we, we need funds, so that's great. that's great. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape in terms of funds. In terms of uh, uh, constitution, though, we seem to be in uh, uh, we seem to be a bit bruised uh, and beat up around the, uh, the party here. We have food yeah. and water, perhaps we should just I mean, re you say friend. that, but it's you guys will fight. <laughs> What happened after we went down? Again, yeah, you guys don't look touched like at all. There was many more, and they got reinforcements. We're, uh, we're very sneaky, the two of us. So we we dipped and dodged and dived and dodged and uh, uh, with a with a very clever uh, rock fall, uh, we were able to to make them think that they couldn't get back to us, but they could. They just didn't know it. Uh, and we dragged you all back here and barricaded the doors and I ate some ham out of Fable's mouth. Uh, it was it was all it's all kosher. Did not need to know that, but uh it's not kosher. I'm, I'm sorry, you did what? Well it's just we shared ham. We shared ham with like between just two friends. Between two friends, what is you share ham? That's a common tradition. I mean I you know, the one like French kids. Anyway, anyways, moving on. Uh, they did. They did talk about. Uh, they they grabbed all the loot and they went back to a ship. So there must be some type of channel to a to a bay or something like cove. But uh, they seem to have gotten away. So we might be able to search this place um, without any more fights. All, all right. I know. Apparently, apparently, you are right. It's a bandit hideout. <laughs> no ghosts. <laughs> I you knew it. Straight up, a bandit I hideout. Said, yes. It's never I, a ghost. There's actually probably still a ghost here. There, there's probably still a ghost. Given everything we've we've gone through in this this damn house, creatures, people, people eating creatures. I mean, I'm gonna assume that was mad. I mean, voices talking out of nowhere, scaring poor innocent satyrs and tritons and things of that nature. And but with all these bandits, yeah, I'm gonna go with. They probably have some type of mage. Maybe. This, I mean, this was supposed to be like an alchemist or a wizard's uh, place, right? So, I mean, I'm going to go with magic more so than gold. We did we hear the rustle of a, a, a fine robe on skin and somebody who spoke in a rather nerdy voice. So, yes, I assume it's a magic <laughs> A rather nerdy voice. <laughs> yeah, but that means wizard immediately. Like exactly. a, whiny, I mean, a little whiny, like, uh, you know, never seen the sun or kissed a girl. You know, kind of <laughs> so you? Oh, it's rude. Able to... <laughs> yeah. And then I make an illusion of a ghost over you. Maya's <laughs> just chilling out on the bed. She's not really... She's half listening to the conversation. But still that... throwing shade, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> now that we're... Uh, now that uh, we're gonna... Shade is a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're sort of stuck here, because I see that you have, you know, 
barricade as I was saying, and we need time to hear. Uh, Fabor, you're casting magic that's given me the heebie jeebies, honestly. <laughs> I mean, what happened? I mean, I've seen ghostly chains, sea fog, yeah, you, you, uh, you're throwing water bowls full of like almost like underwater sewage, and now a creepy, like, half a mass of that shit or something. What? What happened to you on the island? That's not normal. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> not that I... I am... This is not normal for me. I mean, I'm used some, to... Some far ro- you know, far roads. Uh, magic is different in other countries. But I thought you said you got magic when you're on the island. Huh? What? <laughs> did, I, did I just find it disgusting? Are you feeling okay here? I bring you some soup. I bring you some more soup. <laughs> Right, see, Fable, back here. Fable take I give you some soup and I just start shoving soup down your mouth. <laughs> I, I eventually just give in and just leave it alone. But <laughs> like, I look at you while we do this, and like, we're gonna talk about this later at some point. But eventually, okay, open wide. Here comes the boat into port. Mm. I mean, if you're gonna feed me, fine. <laughs> Does this boat have tarry chains coming off of it as well? <laughs> Could you just turn down the, t- the tar? The, the chains, I think I like. I think I like the whole aspect of the chains, but the weird tardy ropes. I can't, are I can't control what it looks like. I don't... This is all new to me, too. Maya will, like, kind of pipe up. Your magic is getting a little bit more... better. It's more... That more he... can... Better than the last change he threw at you, so I think that compliments. That was mature of children. It's just Ashley's not good at compliments. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll take I'll take it. Sure, I want to make sure Mater is okay. He is unusually quiet. Uh, I start uh, petting. I start like rubbing you your your head, (laughs) in a kind of gentle but also kind of predatory fashion. I slap his hand away. (laughs) <laughs> Leave me alone, oh, I'm catch. sleeping. <laughs> Would you like some ham? What happened? You want some more ham? What happened down there? Did, did you got ham? shot by an arrow. Oh, got shot, got shot yes. basically. Except for Marta, she got stabbed multiple times in succession. Uh, and then I shot that guy. And then the rock fall scared the rest of them of the way, at least for now, thank God. Wait, there was a cave-in? How long was I uh, out? It was an illusion. Oh. Okay. Been out a couple hours, I believe. Uh, not only one hour, actually. Wait, you had the powers to make an illusion big enough to cave in an area underground? Or make it look like an area caved in underground? I've seen the minor uh. stuff you've done before. But you have that, too? Yes. <laughs> I pop up a 15 foot version of uh, Monterey, but like the buff Monterey. Oh that's my it. god. Oh god, that's disturbing. Because <laughs> I remember, I remember the description of that buff Monterey. Absurd. This is how I actually look. <laughs> buff Monterey, <laughs> would you like some no, you the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mirror version. Question. Maya's gonna Question. just like print or just cringe and then just roll over and look away from it. I mean, it's just how he sees himself. I'm just I'm just generating that, so. <laughs> the question becomes, do we continue further? Do we retreat back to the guard and tell them what we found so far? I think uh, they are gone. We, I see where we're I say, this, I mean, our job is to clear it and everything, and what you guys told me, we've got, I mean, our house was, our port was to like, clear the house. No one mentioned underground bunker and then caves Agreed. that lead straight out into apparently the sea because they're getting to that shit. So yeah, I think our job is pretty much done. Well, there are also, there's still some two rooms doors yes. over there, a part of the house, I suppose. I'm ready to continue on, and I start sitting up, and then I just no, I no, no, no. <laughs> fall <laughs> back. I tuck you in so much tighter, like. It is just... <laughs> I have like, not a ham it's, sandwich. So. It goes from bread to taquito. <laughs> it's okay, Mondre. Even even I'm still bedridden right now. There's no shame in needing to heal and take a moment. 
Look, they, they, they said to grab the loot and go to the ship, so I'm going to assume they are mostly gone. And we have the name yeah. of the ship, right? Did you hear that correctly? It was not the name of the ship, it was, I think it was their boss. Some, uh, something Sabella? called uh, Sun, ba Sun Ballet or something. Sun Ballet? Sun Ballet. I believe I, my grand used to make that dish for my family when we were, when we were growing up. He would dip bread in it, dip bread in the Sun Ballet. You, you had a charmed life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's a euphemism guess, for something. I guess you grew up rich then. Well, it's, it's everyone's rich, you know, when you share with the family. Fable looks off, haunted for a second, and then gets his composure. Actually, Fable oh, actually it just brings up another good point. Sometimes you sort of fade out mm -hmm. and get this sort of thousand yards there. Where, where are you going? Like I know you're going somewhere in your mind. I come over and stick another big piece of ham in your mouth. <laughs> I, I, I turn, I turn to Monterey. This is how you get him. <laughs> you ask personal <laughs> questions. Maybe, maybe I should ask some damn questions. I feel like perhaps you've touched a button upon a button, sir. So. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep this in the chamber for later on. Whenever I feel hungry, I'm going to say something personal to our cat man, and he'll run and get me food. I, I, I like this system. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not like the goat man's going to be upset about this. He's like, you know, I know what you're doing, but goddamn, this is delicious. <laughs> exactly. exactly, it works. You're going to ask a question, he's only going to have catnip and get catnip shoved down your So throat. much catnip. <laughs> I'm going to drink. You guys, while you're friend. waiting, I'm going to drink with... Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, there's some alcohol on you, right? There actually is a good amount of alcohol in here. Oh, okay. There are several kegs of what appears to be either uh, beer and ale. It's about right. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink with, uh, with uh, Sid. Okay, who the hell are you looking at? There's just me. Who are you looking at? <laughs> I'm not getting no up for nothing. To share a beer with. Some, some of the haunted memories. Unless bandits come through that door, I'm not getting up for anything. <laughs> We're just, so it's like we're just barricaded in here getting drunk off our asses. On bandit, <laughs> on bandit hooch. Stolen. <laughs> stolen bandit hooch. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think we'll I think I I mean I think we'll wait until we can long rest and then chill, right? Yeah. So, so is this like... uh, to exceed. Sorry. I was just gonna make a joke about this being real world salt marsh. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys spend the next pretty much day here. There is plenty of food, there's plenty of drink. You don't really want for anything. Uh, but you notice that as you try and fall asleep, do you set up any watches? Hi. I will watch again. <laughs> Fable, I would assume we are the most sturdy at this point to do watch. Yeah, but they, but anyone they can who, probably. Anyone smell. who has hit die can use them. For those who are injured, if you want to use them. Well, actually, I have one hit it. A long rest, we, one back. you get half I'm our injured. HP back? Or how does that work? You we do get only get one hit die back up for a long rest. But you get your you get all of your HP back when you long rest. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to use my die. I don't know. The, the way this I'll is gone, it. I want my full thing. I'm not going to be... Are we taking yeah. a long rest? I'll, I'll allow that. We, you are taking a long rest, yes. Is it going to count as a new day? It will count as a new day. Uh, I don't believe we can stay up for four hours apiece, though. We're going to need some help, I believe. No, I, they, they can. I mean, they've been sitting all day, and then we long rest. So I think they can do a, uh, a watch, you know. Okay. How come I only okay, have one? So who's on first watch? I, wait, well, no. It's become a nighttime? I want to do my time during the daytime. It has become nighttime, yes. You guys have okay. feasted and gotten... And as drunk as you wish. Keeping the torches and the fires going that are in this room. Yeah, yeah. I will like... the first watch. I'll go first watch. All right. I'll go first. That's... Or did you say you would? Whatever. I, okay. I mean, you can join me because you keep feeding me. So, I mean, you want to join me. You want to go first watch. Mm -hmm. No, I, I sleep eventually. <laughs> watch you guys. It's weird, weird feeding fetish you guys are doing <laughs> with each other. He made this up. I tried to get to know a man. <laughs> and and he's Canada. just like, who? <laughs> I'm moving down to this bunk over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so who, who, who's on first? I think it's just. I'm first. You're first. Yeah, I'm first. 
so yeah. amoros um it, you're really going by uh just your internal feelings you're you are used to being in caves and so you're used to being without sunlight for a long period of time and so being underground is not that unusual to you and you're actually the one who kind of leads people in like okay it's time to eat okay it's time for dinner okay we should probably be settling down now and so it makes sense that you take the first watch. Roll me a perception check. Okay. Skill perception. A 16. You... Everything has been quite quiet. Although you guys have been... At first, you were very careful to keep your voices down to make sure that anyone retreating doesn't hear what you guys are doing. But after everyone else, after you woke up, uh, you guys have tried to enjoy yourselves. But now that everything has quieted down, all you hear is the crackling of a fire. But then you hear something else. It sounds like centipedes scratching and scraping against wood. <clears throat> Maybe something hard. Yeah. And it seems to be coming from the right side of the room. And with a 16, as you go over to that part of the room, you can tell that that sound is coming from behind the door that says danger. I start mumbling in my sleep talking about fighting the rat folk. <laughs> that would trigger it. That's a big thing. Um, as I, as I hear the scratching, you said something hard. So, I mean, is it like constant scratching? You hear it go for less than thirty seconds before you listen again, and there's no more trace of it. Mm, I mean, as long as nothing comes through, I'll. Just gonna let it let it be. I don't want to exasperate it. All right. But that is uh, the only thing of interest that happens on your watch. Who do you wake up to take over? Well, we Fable mentioned he wanted to go. So. Rover and wake up. Uh, Fable also given to actually me. All right. I go and wake up Monterey because we we need the most. Yeah, I can about. take a watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go wake okay. up Monterey. Tell Monterey that um, yeah. You know what? Actually, I don't tell Monterey about the scratching. I'm scared to try and go. I I wake up Monterey and say, "Everything's cool on the front. Nothing interesting happened." I am completely oh, innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I am too concerned. I do not, I do not okay. make any mention of the scratching. I am uh, uh, just yeah. gonna sit up against the wall, uh, still being uh, kind of mm -hmm. injured, feeling a little bit better, but uh, yeah, not trying mm -hmm. to just jump up and and run around. Um, but I'm gonna kind of keep my eye on this uh, doorway over here, and then just kind of keep my ear out for anything weird going on over here. Oh, and then sure. before I go to sleep, I say, uh, I think um, Fable wanted to take a watch after me. So two hours. Uh, is there anything in here I can set up to actually give him like two hours? I know not everyone's used to being in the ground. I, I'm not sure. But he said he was in the Navy, not like running around the war or something. So. I mean, sure. if you can think of something that would, I mean, there's no clocks. If you can, if you can argue something that would work, I mean, I'll. So there were study dirty cups and stuff like that, right? Yep. Um. I mean, I could can I grab like other metal cups or like earthenware? I'll say there's a metal one or two, yeah. Oh, specifically, are there any earthenware ones? Earth, like clay, clay. like clay, yeah. yeah. Cheap clay plastic cups. I'll yeah, I'll take two of those. I'll, I'll say and, I'll say there's some clay. Well, I'll I'll take two of those and create like a makeshift if if I can like run back through that uh, door to the underground cavern. I'll try and make uh, make a quick makeshift uh, hourglass. There we go. I'll put, 
one cup down, the other cup with the sand in it, and big part of the sand, poke a hole in it, so the sand can sort of run through. <clears throat> Sounds very complicated. Okay. I, I look. I've, I have no clue what you want from me. I'm just trying. Hey, uh, there, I mean, yeah. just to be, there I mean, is I a people. Time. There is a people that you could see into the main house and see the, like the windows and sun and shit. No, he didn't no. make it. He didn't actually make that. People. Did we do anything about blocking off this? Oh, I thought stairway. he made it people here. Mm -mm. We didn't do anything no, about the stairway. No, because to make a people and have to climb the stairs and only be able to put it in one spot, and that's not prime people. No, they uh, in, uh, indigo. They did. They did. Bar they barricaded all entrances. The stairs yeah, too. except for these two. Yeah, yeah they did the stairs, the they did no. this one, and they did the wardrobe. We wanted to barricade these two too. I thought I said all, all four, uh, just not. Oh, you just did? Not this, just not that one because they don't. Oh, okay, car. okay. Yeah. Okay, then yes, all four. Ex every entrance to this room is barricaded in some way. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so Mo Monterey, go ahead and give me a perception check, please. Uh, Amaros, I. It's. Okay, give, give here. Give me a, give me a sleight of hand check. Let's let's see what you can do. Well, he'd have to undo the barricade that's on this door over here, right? I mean, this probably mean, dirt, dirt on the floor. floor. Here. Yeah, so there you go. It's a dirt, dirt floor. floor. I was just making sure. So it's not. A... It's an earthen cellar. Yeah, you, you get you get the pieces disassembled. It's just reassembling them that's really kind of you don't have anything to adhere them with you don't have anything to it's maybe a project you can work on but it's not it's not ready by the time you're going to bed sorry i tried <laughs> uh can you, did you roll a perception i did i rolled a okay. 12. okay uh it is a quiet two hours for you aside from any uh wiggling or snoring that your companions do. You are lulled by the gentle uh, crackle of the fire. There's still a little bit of uh, ham left on the fireplace if you are so tempted. Oh, I'm definitely getting down on some ham. <laughs> um, other than that, I'll just kind of uh, I'll chill out. Just kind of pass the time. Uh, you can... Is there anything you'd like to do in your two hours, or would you like to skip ahead to Fable? Um, I'm actually going to, while I'm getting some of the ham, I'm going to inspect some of the uh, the cooking equipment uh, that's here and see if any of it kind of, you know, meets my standards for what I might want to incorporate into my own, my own gear. Got to rebuild my mess. Uh, you, you actually find... Um, uh, it looks like maybe four mess kits, as well as one set of cooking tools. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the time kind of collecting a set of cooking tools. Okay. One day you shall remake. <laughs> when I have my shit. All that was lost. This is, this is a... You're going to do the... You're going to have the, like, the most ramshackle fucking thing, and then we're going to go back to town and be like... Here, I bought you one. <laughs> it's all right. You just got to piece things together as you go. That's my motto. <laughs> That's a good motto, yeah. It was all about it. Um, and then I'm going to go passes. wake up... Uh, was it Fable? Fable. Yeah. Unless you want to wake up someone else. <clears throat> um, no. Let's see. How do I wake up this cat, man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With water. <sighs> it's gotta be. What shade? <laughs> You're the one tucking me in like a fucking stuffed burrito over here. Um, <laughs> I am actually going to. Uh, is there any like <laughs> vegetables, like a cucumber or anything like that? Just kind of. Oh god. Oh, just kind of. <laughs> just kind of hanging out. Um, I my, know interest, my interest is peaked. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Roll me a d6 indigo. I'm innocent. You got, you got one for potato, two for cucumber, I've three seen for carrot. I've seen those. I've seen those. Four is a squash. Videos. Five is asparagus. Uh, Six is a. Cumber. I think it was that's cucumber. <laughs> okay. I mean that's you. You. So, I'm gonna that's go. That's clearly a carrot right there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna uh, go over. 
and I'm gonna uh, first I'm gonna could like find a rag or something and I'm gonna get it really wet and then I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna place this cucumber um, like right next to like his pillow <laughs> like right on his bed like next to his pillow and then I'm gonna uh, throw uh, this wet towel like on his face to wake him up and then just have this kind of cucumber sitting there I next to him. Never, have you never seen those videos? I don't. <laughs> like attacking cucumbers. Like cucumber, waking up to a cucumber, that's a thing? Apparently like cats are just ridiculously terrified. terrified of cucumbers and nobody can explain why, but if you put a cucumber next to a cat unknowingly and if they turn around and see those cucumber, they will freak the fuck out, so. Just it's probably because it, it's because it's it looks like a snake. That would, that would be the the real reason. That's actually like, what I've heard. <laughs> they, they think it's a snake or something like that. They just go Rawr! and do the cat thing. So. All right, uh, <laughs> Fable, roll me a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. I I'm not afraid of cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> You're so not yeah. woken up weirdly. Yeah, but I'm not okay. I just want to put that out there. That I'm not. I'm not okay. I'm not really an DC. I'm not actually a cat. Uh, you 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 wake up and your face feels wet and you feel around. There's a object on your pillow and you pull it Wait, off. My, you see my monterey. face feels wet. I threw a wet towel in yeah, your face. Yeah, threw a wet cloth at you. So, okay, so if I wake up and my face feels wet, you hear this blood curdling scream. <laughs> Like no, no, I won't do it. Oh, I don't want to die like this. Like I just like like a fucking nightmare. Just like like oh, like like yelling. Like it gets into your soul. Like it, it sounds like I'm dying. Like it actually sounds like Abel's dying. We're all awake. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. everyone is awake. Yeah, absolutely. Like Connor, Connor knows. Like this triggers my something uh, tra recent trauma of mine. Um, <laughs> oh shit. Not like, oh, I'm like scratching. I probably like make myself bleed a little bit as I'm like scratching at my face. Like, oh. gets worried. Way to go, Monterey. I, it's like, I, what, what I, I have this? no idea. It's a cucumber, sir. I have no idea what. What? You just went back. so strangely. I, I was just trying to tell Mine you. Is was worried and goes over and like tries to calm. I like. I like fucking. I, uh, spasm. Who? What's happened? Why is this on my face? Uh, I, I have no idea, sir. I, I was just coming to tell you it was time for your watch. It that was that was very no. strange. Did you throw this on me? It, I, what? How dare, sir? Yeah, you conjure all of these things with these uh, spikes and uh, just, uh, chains and all of these uh, tars and all of these things and uh, and just such accusations. I, I would never say. I, th I throw it to the ground. I'm like, whatever, just go to sleep. Yeah, well, it's actually your watch. I walk over <laughs> angrily to the stool and keep watch. I just turn my back to you. I'm so he's so angry. <laughs> I was gonna say he sit, wakes up and throws a knife, but since half of you have one HP, I decided to probably <laughs> wasn't the smartest thing to do for just flavor. I'm gonna say I took one HP of self claw nightmare damage after that. And okay. uh, I'm gonna make a Maya? note to self to never do that again. <laughs> Maya's gonna go <laughs> check, uh, make sure uh, Fable is okay. Because she is a. I'm just like drinking. Person. Uh, I'm gonna just, yeah, there's like, plenty of alcohol down here. I'm gonna go and talk to to Fable. Um, Fable, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a bad dream. You want to talk about it or no? No, it's, it's fine. I'll get to, you. You sleep. I'll, I'll I'll be better. Just just it's fine. Okay. Well, I'll be over here if you. When you when you when you swim, when you, mm -hmm. you were never afraid of the water. You always. Swim around in the ocean and. Well, I left the ocean when I was 10, and I was never really allowed back into the water until I started working. Uh, you never, um. I mean, I know you can breathe, but did you ever drown or anything? Not really. The ocean but... kind of feels like home to me. How deep have you gone? DM, that is a good question. <laughs> How deep is my underwater I'm, city? I mean, uh, you would know it is fathoms and fathoms deep or thousands of thousands of feet deep. But you deep enough that you guys have to have your own light sources in order to see. Yeah. Pretty far down deep. Like to the bottom. Pretty close. 
I, he turns to you now, kind of like wild-eyed. Did you ever see a creature down there? It's been a Gigant- long time. Gigantic. You would remember. Some type of man. I, I don't really remember much from being underwater. You would not forget this. We were fighting when we when I left. Mm-hmm. So there's not much that I remember. Who are you fighting? The Swahagans? Did I say that right? Ah, oh, the fish okay. assholes. You were dead. <laughs> you could make it, mess it up. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming Maya's mom would tell her about her father all that mm. when she got old enough. So they ran you from your ho- home, these Sahagans. <clears throat> Um, no. My mother took me and my brother to safety after my dad passed. Your mother is brave. She's a good mother. Treasure that, because some are pieces of shit. My mother is amazing, and I wouldn't trade her for the world. We have heard tale of the Asahagwin in the Royal Navy. I didn't know you were awake. <laughs> you were stuck over. over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I slept I for the first time. Uh, after, after, after waterboarding a waterboarding a party member, you were uh, <laughs> unconscious. No, he's stuck back. It's fine. I just turned back to you. Like my anger's kind of faded. I just kind of look like a little haunted, I guess, a little bit. What are you mad at me for? <laughs> <laughs> There's the cucumber. <laughs> Come on. It was initial reaction. You, you, you would, if you understood, if you knew, like, then it, you, it was like just recent trauma, like, you know. So he just reacted poorly to waking up like that. That's true. It was very scary. <laughs> Mutter is actually a little traumatized by the reaction that happened. Like he was expecting, like, a, you know, a fuck you and a humorous. <laughs> you know, but this was like. Well, beyond what my race is. It's really messed up. That's it's totally like real life. It's just like, you know, your buddies hang around and it's like, oh, I got, you, I got you, you got me, you got me. And that one guy who's just not down with what you did and just like, you know, no, no, no. Dude, it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I didn't realize that's a trigger. I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Fable, your voice is rough and it, your throat yeah. is sore from your cords just screaming as loud as you possibly could. I'm going to uh, grab the pitcher of whatever he's drinking and uh, top off his, his drink. <clears throat> Sit down and tell a tale of, of something that I had heard about the, the Sahagwin and how dangerous they can be. Roll me a history check there, uh, Monterey. Did Maya know a lot about the Sahagans? No, your mother was not actually very forthcoming about Bad. that information. Okay. What? An eight. Okay. Sadly, not a very good story. Mon- <laughs> well, <laughs> the two of you who are awake with Monterey quickly realize that there are scant facts, but a lot of embellishment made to make this tale more entertaining and exciting. And you hear about uh, the Sufwagen riding underwater dragons that could breathe tornadoes and then the Sawagans would turn into giant squids and then multiply instantaneously taking over entire fleets of ships and then they would go to their home on the moon I mean if you're going to tell a story there's a moon (laughs) moon. pretty formidable I I, no wonder you had to flee my like obviously, they like were... giving you that inflection of tone that like I you know that this is not real, you know. And Maya's like, yes, it was very terrifying. I like to tell a good story. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Mother. It's the, just a bad ex- dream. I woke up. Yes, that was actually quite quite surprising, sir. And I'd, I'm sure that cucumber snuck up on snuck up on you. Wait, there was a cucumber. Where? <laughs> you get munch on it. I eldritch blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Delayed effects, sir. But it's I appreciate. Not, it, I appreciate it, the. It turns into a. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
They, they tried to stick on. They never catch me alive. I just do the put up bump in the air. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> And at that, I am going to go back to bed. And I'm going to walk back. There we go. And go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. How many hours of sleep do I need to actually have? Six, I think. Uh, six, technically. You've uh, had four so far. I'm going to go have another little snooze, I guess. Um, has Maya had six hours? Uh, Definitely, Monterey's had you, two. You've had four. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Did you ever watch? I think I've had. I had second watch. watch. Right. I mean, I'm counting Fables is already done. Oh, okay. So then yeah. she would have had yeah. six at this point. Yeah. Uh, Fable, roll me a perception check as everyone else goes back to bed. Okay. I'm gonna have nightmares about Fable Clone at his own face. <laughs> it wasn't like he was trying to peel the skin off. It was no, like he was just trying to like is, trying to like, get the drag off. Yeah. <laughs> full poltergeist in the mirror, pulling his face off. I think Sid is dreaming about squids on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all just got traumatized by my practical joke. He doesn't know what the moon is, but he's he's got a pretty he's got a pretty you know. You guys have moon. moons in this yeah, world. Yeah, we have. Like... Sure. Saloon. There's the, yeah. We know the moons and the goddesses. Maybe awesome. some kind of rock gnome. Do you spend all your time underground? You're a forest gnome, aren't you? Forest gnome. You <laughs> and you, you live in salt marsh. There's a sky. Yeah, but you don't know what you don't know what the moon looks like. It's just up there. It's Swiss cheese. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. The, it's called the moon. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's literally yeah. called. I don't know. Back in the day, there's even a goddess of the yeah, moon. She's the goddess <laughs> of the moon. You can play ignorance for a lot of like things. We're all, the, we're all saying the same thing here. I feel like. I feel like Sid <laughs> just has like mind blown. It's a nomitude. We'll just put it to this. Yeah. I mean, like the moon exists, but I don't know what the surface looks it, like or anything like that. It, it's just he's too short to see it. Sid bases. Sid doesn't know that the moon exists. That's, that's... No, that's completely a Sid thing. It's not a gnome thing. Don't look up, look forward. That's what McGrann always said. He was always hammering. You know, when you're looking yeah. down, you're working hard. If you have time to stare at the moon, you have time to hammer. That's what McGrann always said. I stare at the what? What's the what? The what? You know, the night sun. <laughs> That night, <laughs> the night torch, the sky torch, the, the silver, the silvery sky torch. <laughs> it's the night light in the sky. And then, and then stars are what little suns? Oh, I guess little, they are. Little, 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 little light torches. Bugs. I mean, they are. I mean, clearly those are peoples. As I was saying, they got stuck in the sky. Those are those are practice peoples. <laughs> Heavenly people, Those are the, ho the holy people, <laughs> practice peoples. Before they got to the good one, that big All right, one. So I rolled a twenty-two percent. Yeah, please take us yes, out of here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it does take you some time, even after your conversation with Monterey and Maya, to feel calm once again. Uh, you've been told by Monterey and uh, Amaros as they both woke up their watches were quiet nothing of their interest and you begin to lull with uh, the, just the sound of the fire and a gentle boil of the pot still on the stove uh, you notice the rest of the hand is gone which is just but mm -hmm. you check over uh, all the doors and one by one you see that they are all uh, well fortified and uh, as you come over to this one over here you notice that there something you didn't notice before there appears to be a light source from underneath the door that flickers like either candle an oil lamp I look, like, if I get my face to the ground, can I look through the bottom of the door? Uh, not enough to really see anything. No. Yeah. You see a little sliver of a room. It is, uh, it is dirt, but you see there are actually, uh, what look like nice rugs 
on the floor, mm. obscuring a lot of the dirt. Okay. Uh, but this door has been opened. Like there's not dust gathered up all over all over it. Like, it looks like uh, no, you do not see any signs of dust. It looks like it is a often an oft used entryway. Got it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll wake up Maya when the time comes. Or Sid. Sid no, doesn't. Yeah, Sid. Maybe wake me up. Yeah. I just kind of. I don't because I, yeah, I would have volunteered having you know been healthier and like knowing everyone else needed rest. I would have wanted to. Uh, yeah, I wake you up by putting a pillow over your face and holding it down. That's good. That's good. It <laughs> seems to be the trend. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Sid, actually. There was the cucumber. Normal, normal day. Normal day in the life of Sid. <laughs> Use a carrot now. Put He's got 14, 14 brothers, 18 sisters, probably. You know, it's, it's all good. You yeah. should be yeah, used yeah. to this, then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will tap you awake. Uh, yeah, I mean, come to, it's my turn. Uh, everything okay? Yes, uh, I did notice a candle in that other room. We should probably investigate that first when we get back up. Should I try to carve people into the door, or we're past that joke at this point? Can you can you do a stealth, people? Can you do a stealth, people? I, I, you know what? I believe I... DM, can I do a stealth, people? Yeah, you just... You know you you just gotta sure screw it really I, slow, man. I'm not sure I want that to be my thing, is the stealth, people. I don't think that's gonna pay out for me in the long run. Just, just screw it really slow. That'd be good. <laughs> you know how hard that would be to, like, manually, slowly screw a small people? Um, we got a couple no, hours I, to kill. Yeah, no, I will not be for I will not be for two hours carving a small people. Um, or just in the morning we'll we'll, we'll check it out. I mean, there's yeah. no. There's, it's only like two more hours. You, you're the watch. Yeah. Last time, if if you and I go down, then who the hell is going to carry everyone to safety at this point? <sighs> the tiny mouse. Hey, it'll take time, but. <laughs> Even if would do it. Uh, I will position myself though, kind of like at this. Uh, oh, this guy's dead, right? So I mean, I'll maybe he is kick dead. him to the side and kind of like put my back against the wall right here. Um, and kind of. Uh, Let's be fair. We probably that, put the dead bodies like in the corner somewhere and covered them up. We just yeah, I would them. be sure. I would be kind of paced, like over here. pacing between yeah. like this this spot and then the spot next to the. Uh, those are the ones I'm worried about: the mystery doors and the, the doors downstairs. I mean, clearly we uh, should put okay. him in the room that says danger because yeah. you know, we yeah. don't want Just them to throw him in there real quick. Um, <laughs> and you know, of course, I'll I'll tap my little like like vest pocket, I suppose, and like update my update my friend on everything that's gone on. Mm-hmm. Sid, roll me a perception check. Where am I? Twenty-four. Nice. Okay. So, you begin your watch, pacing back and forth, trying to keep as quiet as possible to not cause another disturbance for the party Mm -hmm. this evening. And you kind of just whisper just under your breath things that have happened, all the while kind of rubbing your finger along your breast pocket. Probably take it out, maybe like roll it between my fingers, you know, just like, you know, have the coin in my hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, dull gold glimmers in the firelight of the cooking fire. And you see uh, that face that is just... There's a lack of expression, but so much intent in this woman's face as she just stares out of the coin. And as you're just talking absentmindedly to yourself, you drop the coin. And it falls to the floor, and it starts to roll. And you see that it rolls and hits this door over here. <laughs> I thought you were saying it was under the door. I was like, you're an asshole. <laughs> As it hits the door, though, you see it stands up on its thin edge, and it starts to rise up the door. Yeah, that's not normal. That's different. (laughs) And you see, as it hits the, the bar, 
you notice that it's facing tail sides you. But just as you think that it flips itself so the face is facing straight up is looking directly at you. Given your short stature, it is exactly at your eye. What do you do? Well, old friend, uh, this door, this door, this, um, the laughter, the, the, the laughter, the weird gasping. I can't, I can't. You start to hear. And then it goes silent again. Someone there? Can can you hear me? There's no response. I will put my hand like around the outside of the coin, um, just to feel if it feels like um, it gives it all, or if it's like kind of like stuck. Like, does it feel? Does it have any sort of a play to the coin? As you reach out and touch the coin, you feel the familiar, very, very cold sensation. And you feel even faster this time it spreads down your arm. And suddenly you feel yourself pulled forward. And you are in complete darkness. And you hear that same sound of just scratching and rattling. And suddenly you see the almost like a mist rising from the ground before suddenly you feel you are pushed back and you are in front of the door in the same room as your friends and the point is uh, okay okay whatever whatever is there we'll see you soon um i don't i don't think we're leaving without 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 seeing seeing what's going on here but uh i can't i can't I can't do it alone i can't i can't risk can't risk someone ha something happening so hold hold fast put the coin in my pocket and take out my two knives and be weirded out as hell again and, you know, sit, like, on the corner, I guess. Uh. And the rest of your shift passes, and all of you complete a long rest. But that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh, crikey. <clears throat> Indeed. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, Whatever's behind that door, we need to figure it out for, for Sid's sake. He's going to go nuts. <clears throat> yeah, nothing weird going on there at all that we need to figure out. Um, well, I had a great time tonight. Hope you guys all had fun tonight. Thank you so much for uh, being out there and watching us. Uh, I think we had a new follow out there. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, please come back and see us again next uh, Thursday. We'll be on at 6 o'clock uh, PST, of course. Um, while you're out and about throughout the week, go check out uh, Patreon and uh, Limit Throne. He's got some great map assets that can take your game to the next level, and uh, you should definitely go check that stuff out. We should be uh, getting to be able to use one of his maps here pretty soon. I'm pretty stoked on that. So, um, I think he just gave out some free assets, too. Yeah, he just released a new pack and, nice. uh, and stuff. So, yeah, definitely go check that stuff out for sure. And uh, definitely come check us out on Discord. And um, we got some cool stuff developing there. I don't want to say too much just to not give anything away too soon. But uh, definitely come check it out, and we'll see what's developing and uh, get you playing some D&D &D and hanging out with us. That'd be good. Um, other than that, uh, thanks, Connor, for running the show tonight. Definitely appreciate that. And thanks all you guys for playing. And we will see you guys next week. Have a good night. Bye. Good night.